everybody? It's Andrew Schultz, Akash Singh. Kaz is away. He started a new job writing for NASCAR. He said that <laughs> WWE wasn't white enough and he wanted to really get in touch with his, his white roots, so he went to the NASCAR. And more hoes in NASCAR. Yeah, there's much more hoes in NASCAR. Talking about hoes, Eve was a hoe that let Adam hit. <laughs> you know what I mean? You got to go to adamandeve.com for a limited time only. You're going to get 50% off just about any item. You know what I mean? I grew up in the South. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? No, what are you like talking that. about? You know she was getting a stroke, son. Eve wasn't getting you know stroke. No rubber, nothing. Yo, shout out to Eve. Real talk, Eve didn't have the opportunity to get any of this stuff that you could get at Adam and Eve. You know oh what I mean? And you could get it all 50% off for a limited time. Now, I'm not going to lie. I got my Trojan bearskin joints, right? Right. I like the ones that's super thin. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like some people, they want that Chicago condom, that deep, deep di- dish. That deep dish. <laughs> no, no, no. You know what I mean? You are gonna get that shit that's right from Tuscany. That good. I don't even know if that's a thin that one. No, probably Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah the Nap- Napoli, whatever. <laughs> anyway, all I'm saying is, go get your condoms. Go get your. I mean, you know, I don't support dildos, ladies, or vibrators. But that being said, if you need to get that because your man is maybe overseas or you know maybe he works a lot or maybe you just need to get that shit vibrated on, make sure you go get that. You can get fifty percent off. And guess what? You do it real quick. You can get three free adult DVDs plus a free mystery gift. I don't even know what that is. It's a mystery. And to top it all off, they're even gonna throw in. Free shipping. That's a lot of free and a lot of half that's off. That's legitimately, if you got 50% off condoms. Son, that's, it's uh, 50% off gift. anything on the website. Anything. I'm, ju- I'm just saying, you know you're going to use condoms. Yeah. Well, so you you know. Well, you might not. You got a girl. Yeah. She's letting you get in there like Adam. <laughs> <laughs> that's what Akash means in white. <laughs> anyway look it's hindi for raw it's dog. hindi for raw adamandeve.com and use the yeah. code flagrant you gotta hit that flagrant alright that's f-l-a-g-r-a-n-t at adamandeve.com okay go handle that support you know how we do we always taking care of the people let's start let's start the show I just gotta say I got the craziest DM okay yeah, I got a wild DM okay so I don't even, you know what I mean? I don't even be sharing my personal shit like that, you know? Maybe to the homies. Cuck. Wow, that's the first word you're going to use today? Yep. <laughs> this guy. Yep. This guy, the first word. Yep. He I'm didn't coming, say nothing, bro. I had to help him do his job. <laughs> Listen, this motherfucker didn't even know how to get the audio working, wow. right? For for 20 minutes, we're trying to get the audio working. Right. Alex brought his own replacement. He brought this guy named Ed in. Ooh, Adam and Eve were in Eden. Oh, shit. Oh, you really gone, Eddie. son. You really gone. It's meant to be, bro. It's meant to be. Akash and Schultz and Eden. That sounds better. <laughs> anyway, so um, the audio, whatever, but now we got it fixed. I got this DM, right? This shorty is just wild. And she probably catfish. She's probably a guy. I'm not going to lie. But it was, she was just wild. I want to do all this crazy shit. I was like, you're doing too much. Chill out. She sends me a video. Right? The video, guys, everything okay over there? Okay. The vi- He's okay. You got a chair right there. Have him sit right there. You're good. I mean, Latino, he can stand. Yeah, this guy got that shit. He was <laughs> outside of it, fucking uh, Home Depot Home Depot all day before you got him. Yeah. <laughs> you know? Yo, you know I, I mean? apologize in advance, was, bro. Yo, I was legit just, just picked up trip. a dude out of his <laughs> pickup. He just we said, him. yo, we need something for when you're not here. He was like, I got it. <laughs> this motherfucker came in cargo shorts and shit, ready to work. He got knee pads on and all this shit. What kind of work do you think you're doing? <laughs> anyway, so. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Motherfucking Eden. He brought Eden up in here. Damn, son. Anyway, so this girl sends me a picture. No, a video. I click on a video. I'm like, oh, it's about to be lit. First thing happens, I just see her back. Then I see her butt. She takes one hand and puts on one cheek. Takes the other hand, puts on the other cheek. All right. Then spreads them apart. It was one of the pinkest pinks I've ever seen. <laughs> <laughs> so, it it was it was it was so pink. It was a little bit. It was like somebody like a new eraser. 
It was a brand new eraser. <laughs> it was like that silly putty. It was silly putty paint. It looked like cotton candy. If somebody like squeezed cotton candy really tight, <laughs> do you know what I mean? It wasn't fluffy like cotton candy. But what if you compress cotton candy into the littlest, tiniest bit? That's and what the butthole. You stick in your mouth for a bit, then pull it out, and then you and pull it out. It's your- wet. <laughs> it is yes, exactly that. It was cotton candy culo. <laughs> then she's on her knees, right? Try to get a look at the feet. It was out of frame. Then. She bends over. You saw and I dick. see the pussy from the back. It used to be a dick. Now, <laughs> I've seen Akash some hangy lips before. <laughs> I personally don't mind a little extra labia here and there. I thought this girl was taking a shit. <laughs> I, swear, son, son, I swear to God, son, son, I swear to God, said front of back, she she kind of twerking and she bent over, and I thought a full grown shit was coming out of her butt, and I was like, how is just hanging? How she make the shit just hang there like a loogie? You know when you you know you spit out the loogie and it goes out just for a little and then you slurp it back up. Ugh, I thought she was doing that with a doo doo. Why does it make me want to throw up? It makes me want to oh, throw up. Made me want to press replay. <laughs> <laughs> but, but it was one of the videos that don't let you. Replay. It was in her stories. <laughs> no, no, it wasn't in the stories. But God bless if it was. All I'm saying, listen, I'm not out here labia shaming because I do not mind a little extra labia. I will be honest with you. I can't do that. Shit. You don't like that. No. Oh, you haven't tried it. That's fair. That's fair. That's, that's fair, but sometimes it's just a little bit of you know bunched up down there in the under there. <laughs> <laughs> you know, like, so it's like sometimes when you rub it on underwear and if you know what it feels like, it feels like just an outfielder's mitt. You know what I mean? Which is nice, but sometimes, sometimes you rub in and you're like, you play catcher, don't you? <laughs> Yeah, I can't do it. <laughs> what? It just it just looks like you know when you pull a a, cor- a coin purse or whatever the fuck, and then it just <laughs> inside up. go inside out. I can't do it. it. Looks like a Futurama character, just the fucking mouth just hanging. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, but it's nice when you put it on your leg. <laughs> I'm telling you, you get the hangy pussy and you put it on the leg, and it just kind of sticks there like a slug. <laughs> you never seen it. Do you use it as one of those sticky hands? Yeah, you yeah. You them? just you go, you hey babe, sit on my leg. <laughs> Don't get the soda can on the counter. There you go. I was no, I'm telling you, you never, you never take your girl and you, you be like, yo, come sit on my knee, right? And then you just bend over at an angle, forty five degrees, and watch her slowly slide down that shit. You never done that with the extra labia? No. No. The labia majora. <laughs> shit is too, that shit was too majora. majora. Yeah, yeah. You need yeah. the labia minora. Yeah. Shout out to the Jews. <laughs> 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 you ever get the labia menorah you're like ooh it's the first day of Hanukkah for you you got no menorah almost it's just one candle lit oh fuck Kaz not here so, obviously <laughs> okay. Kaz you deadbeat deadbeat <laughs> podcast host this is fucked up you tried to get us to record on Friday luckily yeah. I was busy but I was like no yeah, Ka- he yo, wanted to be we, so we bad man. last time we were switching his schedule for Kaz we recorded on Sunday yeah. before LeBron signed with the Lakers and we sounded like fucking losers yeah, that's true. for two hours. We were sounding wild. That was a Sunday. My man wanted us to do a Friday. Yeah, there was too much news that was going to happen. We were going to miss the World Cup. Yeah. You know what I mean? I should call Kaz real quick and just, <laughs> we should leave him a little voicemail. Vince McMahon going to yell at him. Yeah. Kaz! <laughs> <laughs> Don't think I can't get another black guy in here tomorrow! <laughs> Hold on. Let's get Kaz. Let's call up Kaz. Let's Ask him if Hulk Hogan's called him the N word yet. Yo, isn't Hulk Hogan like love now or something? No, he... I think he always been. That's that's the fucking Hulk, dog. How you gonna hate Hulkamania? Son, let me see if Kaz pick up the phone. We don't know what part of the world is he no, in. Do we should, know? You should have. I, I, I know it ain't the same. world. Yeah, I know he ain't in America. the world part of the world. It's America. He America as fuck. Oh, he's probably not gonna pick up because he's probably working. No, there's too many rings already. <laughs> what? <laughs> it's probably too many rings. You know what I mean? Anyway, look, I just want to let y'all know that about my DM. And then second of all, it hit me. Yeah. What's up? Air bubbles. Okay. On sneakers. Yeah. 
It's trash. Yes, of course. You knew that? Yeah. How'd you know that? I mean, I had one. The shit popped. And I was just like, but it's also useless. What? Are, for Yo, what? Think about it. We think that's the most comfort. No. But it's an antiquated way of making comfortable sneakers. Like, if someone's like, hey, here's a pillow. And you're like, oh, what's it made out of? And you're like, oh, you blow it up with your breath. <laughs> oh, okay. And then it's air. Yeah, who wants to sleep on a fucking inner tube? It's an inner tube. So we think... That the air bubble is the best, most comfortable type. Like, we were playing basketball in air bubble. That's insane. Like, imagine jumping on an inner tube. You're like, I'm going to break my ankle, guaranteed. Why? Well, I, I just thought that made sense because it's like springy and you're going to jump and you got to whatever. Yeah, but you but can't walking, control the spring. Trash. Air maxes are oh, so uncomfortable. Not only uncomfortable, it's the worst type of fuck it, but the fact that you can see through it, we think it's good. Do you have the air bubble sneakers on right now? Nah. nah. You don't have them, but you know the ones that they got now, the the, the Vapor Max or whatever? They yeah. got the whole shit yeah, is air yeah, bubble. Yeah, and we're like, yo, that's comfy because it's air. First of all, them you, just look dope. Though. First of all, they look dope. <laughs> but one, this idea that air is comfy. How? <laughs> how? Air not comfy. You know what I mean? You can't you walk on, on an air, air mattress. That shit what? is eyed at best. Thank you. The that's air a, mattress is trash. That's where you sleep when you don't have a regular so mattress. That's how you make fun of somebody, right? Like, yeah, you like sleep you on go, an air oh, mattress. you sleep like when you saw when someone's broke. Yeah, you're like, yeah, that's why you sleep on an air mattress. Yeah, right. But if you said to somebody who was broke, like, yeah, that's why you got sneakers with air on the bottom, we'd be like. Now he's doing all right in life. Yeah. life you <laughs> that guy. He got air in the whole bottle. No, that's what I'm saying. Like, you always said to me, what's the most comfortable sneaker? Uh, Ultra Boost. Always said it. Yeah. Of course it's the most comfortable. Yeah. Because what's the most comfortable bed? Foam. Facts. But you can't pump. You can't pump back. <laughs> that's one thing I learned from foam. My stroke game was a little bit weak. Maybe that's my problem. I think it is. <laughs> Get me off this temper pee. Your, your bed too comfortable. No, because, <laughs> right. nah, bro, I was so I can't put this bitch to sleep. The, the bed, bed already did it. The bed already put us both. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like Sinking like, into it. Li- I, yo, when I had my phone mattress, I had to get rid of it. Threw it out. That's really? what get rid of means. <laughs> <laughs> so, so I'm, I'm on the Because f- one of the moves I used to do back in the day is I lay on my back. Girl will get on top. I let her ride it. Ride it. <laughs> yeah, ride it. Yeah. Real wide, ride so it. Yeah, right. Yeah. Right. right. I let her ride it. Right. Yeah. Ride it. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what accent that is. <laughs> That's a good one. Right. So I let her ride it. Right. And then what I do is once once she thought that she was in charge, then I start hitting her with this shit. I start I start popping back. <laughs> just a little, just a little bit of popcorn, right? You know when the shit, you know when the shit just starts popping when, no. <laughs> you know, not when it's like. Pop, 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 pop. It's just when a, f- a couple of the kernels are getting a little hot, right? Pop, 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 right? So that was, that was one of my, son, that was one of my moves. Gosh, that was one of my moves, gosh. Oh, God. That's why I need, hey, that's why I need my bear skins, because I need to feel yeah. every, every inch. Pop, 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 What's the advantage of what? <laughs> what so, so what? So look, because it's double. She's riding it, but every time she comes down, what does she feel? Pop, pop, pop. <laughs> she getting a little pop, pop, pop every single time, right? So, right? So, does she get a little pop, pop, right? So, pop. So, so, so then I get my, then I get my, what's it called? My foam mattress, Akash. So I got this foam mattress. Shorty's riding, right? She's riding. I'm looking at her like, bitch, you thought you was going to ride. You thought, wait till you get hit by the snap crackle. You know what I mean? Wait till you get this snap crackle. Right? So I, I go to pop, pop. I go up for one pop. I sink right back in the bed. <laughs> yeah. I can't pop right back. I'm all core. Yeah. It's all core. Right? And this is before you're working with the it's trainer. It's before I'm working with the trainer, so my core is a little weak. Yeah. I can't pop right back. I'm going all core. I just had to let her ride. <laughs> threw, the, threw the matches out next day. <laughs> threw the matches out the next day because it didn't give me my pop, pop, pop. Oh, fuck. So what are you back to? Spring? I got a little spring. Yeah. I got a Serta. Okay. Certified Serta. Certified Serta. Yeah. You know what I mean? But I'm back to pop, pop, Certified pop, pop. pop. <laughs> Yo, this shit is so certified now. It's certified Pop Rocks. Yo, that's the thing. It's Pop Rocks. Most people think it's like like champagne. You know, where it's like, psh, and a bubble, bubble. No, it's like, 
<laughs> you know what I mean? Like, you, if you popping it right, if you popping it right, Shorty don't even know if you popping it, right? Like, she just knows every time she comes down, she gets a little bit of feedback. <laughs> you know what I mean? She gets a little bit of like, oh, okay. Oh, my God. That's all it is. <sighs> I don't know what that had to do with anything. I just needed to, you know, address that. And the air bubbles are trash. And that that's probably why all these players are injured this whole time. Think about it. You come down on an air bubble. You're not, it's not absorbing your force. Because mm. there's only so much room for the air to go. When you come down on that, that shit that you got, Ultra Boost. Yeah. Right? It absorbs it because the I material is made it. to, you yeah. sink into it. Bang. We wonder why these motherfuckers' ankles are getting rolled, their knees, their joints are all fucked up. Because every time they jump, think about how high they jump. Yeah, oh yeah. You know what I mean? They're jumping from way high, coming down on the same air bubble as me and you. That energy is just getting transferred back into the knee, knee gone. Right. You're right. How many air bubbles Jordan had? I'll wait. I'll wait. Oh, I'll wait. Shit. You know they weren't going to put that man in, in fucking air bubbles because they know they got the technology. Kobe had air oh. bubbles? Kobe ain't have no fucking air bubbles. They had the ugly ass joint from Adidas. Kyrie don't got air bubbles. Kyrie don't. They put the motherfuckers they don't care about in the air bubbles. Paul George probably got Whose air bubbles. Whose phone is that? Damn, son. Ed and phone on silent. Yeah. Ed didn't know what time it is. You know what I mean? Who's that calling? This motherfucker Verizon prepay is on silent right Yo. now. <laughs> Yo, he can't get the deal because he's not from America. <laughs> he tried to pay in coconuts. I need a barice on prepay. I have 15 pineapple. Can I give you 15 pineapple? I have 15 pineapple. I give you 15 pineapple. Next oh, month, I give you 15 more pineapple. Oh, I feel so What's Costa Rica? Bad. No, you're from where? Nicaragua. I feel oh, so man. Bad. Nicaragua. Nicaragua. Shout out to the uh, Sandinistas. And uh, what, what's the other one? The Co Contras. Contras. Oh, yo, they had wild warfare that we funded yeah, yeah, out yeah. there, son. Yeah. Yo, my bad, yo. America you really fucks your shit up, son. You hate Reagan? What? You hate Reagan? Uh, Did Reagan do it? That was Reagan. Yeah. yeah. That motherfucker did not care. Nah, man. What was so crazy about what was going on? Oh, you guys were trying to be communists? Something like that. Yeah, we don't play that shit, son. <laughs> if you go communist, you gotta go. <laughs> Simple as that. Sorry, bro. Freedom ain't free. <laughs> Freedom ain't free. It costs brown people's lives. <laughs> that should be on the American flag. Freedom ain't free. It costs brown people's lives. <laughs> yo, that is our foreign policy, right? It's like, once anybody tries to do something a little different, we'd be like, yo, how they treat women over there? <laughs> right? Like, if you down with us and you're like, yo, we don't think women should drive, we'd be like, hey, these bitches can't drive. <laughs> you know what I mean? But let you not be down with us. Ooh. Y'all need some freedom. You know what I'm saying, point. Akash? That's a good point. Akash, how's your life going, bro? How's everything going? Everything's good, man. Is everything good? You just gonna lie to my face? Akash don't Akash don't talk about his his personal life. He keeps that shit personal, which I kind of respect. Yeah. I kind of respect. You got it. But he also is scared. Because his girl listened to the podcast. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait till we get his ass on horrible decisions. Oh, yeah. You got to come on horrible decisions. Yeah. I was supposed to. Right? We yeah. had to reschedule for fucking cast. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. And then you got replaced. I yeah. saw you did it with, with um, Low Key. Low, low Key, yeah. Damn. Who you know? Low Key? Uh, low Key's. From Duce Palooza. You don't know Low Key on? Cast got too many clicks out here, bro. Messing Kaz with too him. clicked up. Yeah, that dude is click up. Word. So click up. <laughs> Yo, he can replace you with Rory real quick. <laughs> real quick. Don't get comfy. <laughs> I know. He got to show up first. I'm going to show up one day. It's just going to be Ed in, you. <laughs> he going to have Flavor on with Rory next week. <laughs> I like that kid. I'm, a, I'm not going to lie. I like that good kid, Rory. Nice guy. Yeah. Just anyway. Like your little brother. Anyway, look, man, shout out to my little brother. <laughs> y'all don't even, y'all don't even know, y'all don't even know what's going on. No, I meant my literal little brother. Oh, how's he doing? <laughs> yeah, I seen him the other day too. I didn't even tell you. Oh man, I don't even know what to say about it. my man. Took a dip in the Hudson today. <laughs> my <fucking laughs> no, just, my son, I got a call from my bro today. My bro just called me up. He's like, "Hey, so I was just running." And, you know, I was hot or whatever, so I, like, just, you know, jumped into a Hudson River. <laughs> and I was like, what? 
He goes, I just jumped in Hudson River, and when I was coming out, the people told me, like, if I come on to that place to get out, it's going to be trespassing, so I'm going to get arrested. And so, like, I just jumped on it, and then I jumped back in the water, and then I jumped on it. But he's like, so now I'm in the hospital just getting shots and everything, because apparently <laughs> it's really dirty. Did you know that? I'm like, fam, come on, bro. Yo, come on. This, yeah. This real talk? Yes, this, this happened like an hour ago. Yo. Uh, yeah. So, Yo, shots to Greg. Hopefully Greg, everything's hey, going great. Do you want to talk about when we were driving? Nah, nah, nah. nah, nah, nah. <laughs> Greg, let me say so this Greg, Greg had Alex shook when we were, Yo, so scared, we were driving bro. to a game, and Greg tall, so I had him in the front seat, and Greg was just going off. I don't know what he was talking about. So Alex was shook in the front seat. Son. Greg is huge, <laughs> He's and you don't realize partner. until he starts talking wild. Yeah, because his his personality is like kind of like, hey, hey, man, hey. Oh, he's super subdued, up, man. man. But then when he starts talking wild, you're like, yo, this dude will kill me, yo. and I will have nowhere to go. God he's fucking him. huge. Yo, put out a prayer to Greg man real talk everybody everybody put the assholes up keep it tight one time he's a Greg. brilliant kid man for real I mm -hmm. we I used to we, Andrew and I Andrew lived together for I don't know how a few months and I used to just hear this beautiful beautiful fucking music coming from next door Greg and his folks live next door and I'd walk over and I would just see Greg playing fucking piano mm -hmm. and I'd be like yo how'd you learn he'd be like I don't know man I just did it yo man savant yeah real crazy he just did it man that's what he does sometimes it's music sometimes it's rivers <laughs> I'm a fucker. He's just doing it, dog. And like, he dives in. Live real, yo, real talk. I, it's like when he broke it down to me, I related. Like at first, it sounded crazy. I was like, "What do you mean, you just jumped in a river?" And he was like, "I didn't think it was that bad." I was like, "Greg, how could you not think it was that bad?" He goes, "Cause they have races there. Like people swim around Manhattan, so I didn't think it was that bad." And I was like, "All right, you know." And then he said to me, "It's always been a dream to me to jump in, cause you, you know, I never see anybody jumping in." And I'm not gonna lie, like on a hot day, I'll be looking at the river, like, "Man, maybe I should take a dip in that bitch." I just don't know how I'd get out or how fast it would be. I ain't gonna lie. I've looked at the East River one time. It's, yeah. It looks a little cleaner, and I'm like... Yo, it's all What's I'm saying the worst? Is, I is he crazy or we pussy? You know what I mean? Like, like I would. I well, he's canoes. the one getting shots right now. So that's yo. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. the other thing. And yeah, he was like, yeah, I'm getting some shots because it's dirty or whatever. I'm like, yes, it's dirty. You know it's dirty, man. Come on now. Fuck out of here, bro. You know that shit. <laughs> how do you not know that shit? Only Chinese people in Puerto Ricans fish there. <laughs> you know what I mean? Obviously, that shit dirty. Yeah, the immune system Yo, is built on, for like, anything. Exactly. Yo, come on. Let's be Fuck, honest. Man. Let's be honest. Come on. If you don't see white or black people fishing, Yo. don't get the fish. I want to stick up for the Puerto Ricans, but it's so true. Man. <laughs> come on, bro. Y'all know you get that fish, but just fry it. Just fry it. <laughs> just fry it. <laughs> if you fry it, if you fry it, make it good. <laughs> oh my god! Shout out to Puerto Rico. Oh fuck, Puerto Rico. Oh, I don't know, man. That's just been my fucking life, Akash. And so you don't want to talk about your personal life. One of, one of these days, we're gonna get you talking about it. I don't ever do that shit. I know it's pissing me man. off, son. Come on, yo, what? son, Alex. I know that you on roids and shit. Do you think that? <laughs> <laughs> nah, I know you on roids, bro. I know you on roids. So I, f I realize you guys are gonna just keep doing that. Doing what? To get me to stigma like how Cass it fucks with white bitches. Yeah. And so you on roids? I could tell you on roids. By the way, yeah, I'm a mad roids. Why you have to say it like that? Because. Why are you taking the fun out of this? Exactly. Yeah. Fuck you guys. Well, I see how we getting angry at Roy today. <laughs> Yo, watch this. Hey, Eden, you ever take roids? No. See how easy that was? <laughs> so easy. See how easy that motherfucker nah, was? Nah, see how nah, nice nah. and calm and nah, easy nah. it is, yo? It ain't yo, that you easy. you about to get Fuck replaced, that. son. Yo, you got you gonna have Alex fucking... You know how long we put up with Alex and his extra X? Oh. It's too long with your extra X in your name. What I'm telling it, you. How do you spell your name? E-D-E-N, right? No. No. Well, fuck you. I don't want to deal with your ass either. I want a regular spelled name, son. How do you spell it? Uh, it's, it's like Eddie, but take out the last E put an N. Oh, that's so stupid e -D -I -N. as fuck. E-D-D-I-N? That's not a Spanish name. It's a mistake. Listen, you don't have to talk about yourself like that. <laughs> Jesus Christ. You know, it wasn't a mistake. Your dad knew who he was nutting in. You know what I mean? It, it, everybody says that shit. Oh, we did this by mistake. How? Uh, I don't know. They messed up the name in the hospital. No, I'm talking about birth. Oh. Uh, I don't know. You still got a job, Alex. Don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> but you Thank know when people are like, oh, we had this person by mistake. Yeah. What do you mean you don't understand? Yeah, like... Like you nutted, right? Nah, yeah. You pulled out. In a pussy? Nah, sometimes you pull out and people... I don't believe pregnant. in a four... What is that called? Pre-cum? Yeah. No. That's not true. It is. No, it's not. Medically, it is. No, I've spoken to medicine. 
<laughs> Akash, back me up here. You no, got it's mad. a possibility, but I do think a lot of people say it's an accident. What they mean is I didn't want to nut in her. Think about but it. But I did. But okay, that is that's a, that is and a, that you don't understand how that happens. No, no, that'd be happening. But look, look, look. <laughs> no, what I'm saying is it's motherfuckers. That's, that's as close to an accident as it gets. Think about think about who's making the mistake, right? When people are like, oh, it's pre cum. Everybody blames on pre cum, right? I didn't know that. No, but that's what but I'm that's saying. Yes, if you blame it on pre cum, you're probably lying. You're lying. Like it can you just didn't want to pull out. You can, it can happen. How? But I doubt it happens that. How? Fast. How? Nah, it's it's happened with, How can, with you. Yeah, you got a scoop, scoop on your record. <sighs> wow! <laughs> wow! You fucking Puerto Rican! <laughs> you fucking oh, Puerto Rican! Damn. You, Alex. Oh, I set myself. I up Dios for that. mio. <sighs> Fuck. What happened? <laughs> Damn. Okay, what happened? So you were stroking it, right? Okay. Now, is it possible that your lower body has such zero muscle? <laughs> you just, you didn't have enough muscle. Yo, sorry. Yo, I think he didn't have enough muscle yeah. to pull out of the nah, girl. Like, that's all core, baby. No, because your top, you were, you were thrusting with your top and the momentum was so heavy. And he just landed, like maybe the, land, just, just, fam, you just uh, collapsed You just on collapsed on, on that bitch. You couldn't pull yourself off because nah, your bottom man. is so weak. You, you were trying to army crawl son, out of her, but it was like too late. You're like a paraplegic. Late. Yeah, like you know what I mean? Lieutenant Daniel way out yeah, of there. Yeah, you can't get out of there. And then it's too late. Nah, pull Yo, game think strong, about man. it. Think about it. Pull out game strong. No, it's clearly it's we not. Yeah, it's not that strong. It's not that strong. Until we got Adam and Eve, and now I strap all the time. You always strap? Strap on? What you talking about? Strap on? <laughs> yeah. No. No, he's no, strap no. a condom on. He's not yeah. talking about strap a dick on. Uh, extra dick. You sure? That's where you went to with that? Son, yo, Akash is a freak, son. <laughs> you ain't read That's the, why he don't want to talk son, about the it. Karma Sutra? Yo. You never read that? Oh, shit. Yo, yo Indians, Akash, Indians really? are freaks, son. Freaks. You do look bad. No, flexible, I'm, I, bro. I'm too proud of my weak dick game to ever use a strap on. Yo, like, stop that's it. Nah, I know, I know. Weak dick. Yo, Akash's yeah, nah. dick is fat, son. <laughs> son this, his dick is fat, son. You know how I know his dick big as shit? When we lived together, he would go through the soap. Son, Wait, the soap what? had a groove in that shit. Right? <laughs> I was like, "What this motherfucker washing?" Yo, there was a groove. Who in the wipes fucking... the bar of soap directly on their dick? Son, you fam, because I, I would go in to use the soap. I'd be like, "I is... never use bar. I'd never share bar soap with you. Never in my life." A hairy ass. No, thank you. Yo, how? No, thank you. What I want to understand, can we time out? 20 seconds. <laughs> <laughs> how you going to criticize me when I'm tra- telling everybody your dick huge? All right, fair enough. Go ahead. That's crazy. <laughs> what kind of friend is this? I'm over here saying you're you got right. a huge dick you're and right. I'm giving empirical evidence. You're right. You're right. I'm giving a fucking the dinosaur shit. Right. You're right. <laughs> What's that called? Fossil. I'm giving fossil fossils and shit. I'm talking about, I got a dick fossil for Markash. You could put his dick in a fucking museum of natural history. That shit was huge. That shit looked like a femur. <laughs> right next to you the know mosquito. What, you, know that, you know that ball white people always break when they ski? That's the only time. Only white people broke their femur, right? You never heard a black person be like, oh yeah, I've severed my femur. That shit never happened once. Only white people could do activities oh, that break that bone it's in their the body. It's the sickle cell of white people. So it really is. You never heard a Chinese say, yeah, I broke my femur picking up a bucket of fish. <laughs> or whatever the fuck they do <laughs> right it's, oh it's, it's the hardest bone to break in in your whole body I think it requires like 3,000 pounds of pressure I just made that number up yeah right? okay. right, fair enough I'll all I'm saying is, is we're doing these crazy activities yeah, yeah. You, you're a specialist in white people you know more about white people than me <laughs> I know is there some, I special. know more about white people than me I, I grew up around white people I know he studied them I studied them I did really? not yeah. I studied. Oh the, yeah, you grew up in Texas, right? I grew up in. Oh, yeah, so he I, knows like white. Yeah, so I know white people. I'm not gonna lie to you. Like not like white, but white. white. <laughs> yeah. Where you pronounce the H? Yeah. Shit. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah. And I say this as a Caucasian. <laughs> <laughs> yo, sometimes I be looking at white people. I be like, yo. That motherfucker pretty white, <laughs> but I can't say it. And I've been looking for like Wait, non-white. What makes them so white? So like I saw this dude the other day. Like it was just they dressed like Eden. Yeah, he kind of dressed like Eden. Yeah. Eden know know what side he on in America. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, Ed is not coming back. Yo, no, no. Like, yo, I, we walked. I, him, oh, we, I appreciate we got, the opportunity, but uh, we got him, we got him out of here. We got him out of here real quick. 
All I'm saying is, yo, I'm telling you, sometimes, Akash, I get it. I get what you guys are saying about like this extreme caucasity right, in right, folks. Right. Yeah. <laughs> What's so funny is that I look at you that way so <laughs> <long>. <laughs> Yo, yo. It gotta be at least four or five times a day when I'm around this guy. I'm like, yo, he's so yo, wild. Literally, I eat two hard boiled eggs. I eat two hard boiled eggs with hot sauce, and all of a sudden, I'm I'm the poster boy for Caucasian. Oh my god, yo, but your shorts are like the length of my boxes. <laughs> Son, you would show off your legs too if you look like this and you could squat. Yeah. <laughs> my squats are serious, son. Son, I had the person who owned the gym come up to me and ask me to stop yelling. <laughs> I thought it's a safe space. Forget, yo. I'm oh not gonna lie. God. People say, I go, about? what you mean yelling? When you're trying to get the weight up, <laughs> yo. How would you yell? <laughs> <laughs> not at the beginning of the set, but like after, you know, my guy, shout out to Mike Washington, my guy, rec performance. Yeah. <laughs> but like he, he puts me through the squat shits. Son, by like the ninth or tenth set, we trying to throw it tenth up. Set. Set. Okay. Started at like five. Right. Now we're at the, we, we're doing like 10 cent. Son, I'm lightheaded because I had half decaf, half regular iced coffee. <laughs> Son, wait. I'm trying to with get the honey. Yo, I did have honey in it because I'm off of refined sugar. Mm, gay. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh. so, 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 uh. I'm, I'm throwing up this weight, bro. This is weight we're talking about. Yeah. Like, son, the bar alone. That's got to be at least 100 pounds. How much is the bar? 45. 45. That's only 45 That's pounds. only 45. Bro. That shit heavy, B. Like, son, that shit is heavy. So, yo, that shit is no. Sometimes, because sometimes the way, you know, when you're doing the squats, somebody left the bar on low. Oh, yeah. You got to bring it up. up. Woo. <laughs> Woo. That one. You, anyway. <laughs> so... So I'm on like a later thing, a later squat, and like I'll be lo- I'll get down just fine, but then I'll try to get it up. Yeah. And you know that part between where the lowest you can go is and right where you can push through? Yeah. In order for me to get through there, <laughs> I got to go. <laughs> I got to I got to go. Ha! <laughs> <laughs> I go, I go, I go. Ha! <laughs> right? Yeah. It, but if I do that, I summon strength. I can summon something inside of me. No, I can summon it, right? Because it's in, like, you know when, like, a like a bitch got her kid trapped in a car upside down or some shit? Like, you know women, they can't even get the fucking luggage out of the overhead bin. Oh, but then when fuck. their kid is trapped in a car upside down, all of a sudden this bitch could flip a car. Yeah. Where the fuck did that come from? What? I've never seen that new That's, story. No, I've ever. seen that story. That's a real I've story. Seen that like new somebody story. lifted I've seen a that car. new story. Yeah. Oh, okay. Always with women, no men. It's crazy. Yo, yeah, obviously, because we could drive. Fucking. Not a fucking idiot crashing a car on the highway, putting our oh, child in jeopardy. Oh. Who fucking. Who fucking crashes the car with the child inside? You know what I mean? Oh, fuck. What the oh fuck is God, wrong with so you, funny. bitch? You driving with the child and you flipping the car. Oh Just God. drive. It's a highway straight. It don't even have oh turns. How you crash on a highway with no turns? You go in one lane, you stay. What you even changing lanes for? You know what? Because you listen to the fucking, those murder podcasts and you getting so excited and so interested trying to figure out the fucking crime. Isn't now your kid almost died. Isn't that what you did with cereal? <laughs> I was in passenger. <laughs> I'm not gonna drive front row or front seat or driver's oh, seat, whatever it's called. <sighs> fuck. That's All good. I'm trying to say, oh. these girls. <laughs> yo, imagine Alex with his brittle ass legs trying to flip a car. <laughs> his legs fully extended. The knees start buckling the opposite way, like a fucking raptor and shit like that. <laughs> <laughs> and he's looking at him with his matchstick legs like, how the fuck is he going to lift that shit? And all of a sudden, his shirt come off, big ass biceps and pecs. I think he could do it. I think he could flip it. All I'm saying is women can be strong when they need to be. You know what I mean? And that's what you can do when you scream. <laughs> if I just get that one yell. I'm telling you, Akash, I can lift 25 more pounds of that yell. 
Lord. But the gym owner came up to me and she was like, it scares the other people with the weight. Oh, she? Gym owner? She? Yeah, she got to get a new gym, bro. I know, no, 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 no. She, this, this girl thorough. Like, right. I thought she hated me for about six months. Turns but she's just she trying to fuck. <laughs> Man, nah. <laughs> <laughs> if I'm being honest, no. <laughs> I'm mad pussy around her. She see how much I lift with the scream. <laughs> <laughs> it's not even a lot. Did she Yo, tell what? you stop screaming that at the end of the shit? Just pick up the bar with one hand and <laughs> place it back on the right. It's really, you don't need to do all that. Like, all right, just... She picked the bar up like it was a suitcase, B. <laughs> I was using all my legs and my arms to get the bar up. She picked that shit up, no problem, like this. Boom, boom second level. Oh, fuck. All I'm trying to say is I'm out here in this gym screaming to get fucking shit up, which I think you should be allowed to scream, but whatever. <laughs> Son. I know Louis C.K. had a joke about this shit. I don't even give a fuck. How fun it is to jerk off in front of people. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all tell you this about Louis C.K. I'd rather watch... You're like Louis pull his dick out like, hey! <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you this, though, about Louis C.K. If you gave me the choice between mm. watching his entire hour comedy special, start to finish, or he jerks off in front of me, I'd be like, take your dick out. <laughs> <laughs> <Damn>. <laughs> I thought that was a no no. <laughs> Look at him be like, hey, give me your hand. <laughs> oh, fuck. Let's speed this up a little. <laughs> oh, man, I don't want to sit and point at the TV and go, that's funny for an hour. I'd much rather be horrified for 30 seconds. Son, I'm fucking dying. Yo, you know, my, my agent hit me up, man. Shout out to my agent, man. He hit me up and he was like, yo, I just started uh, representing Jeremy Piven. You remember Jeremy Yeah, he's Piven? doing stand up now. He's doing stand up. Russell Peters now. helped him. Shout out really? to Russell the guy. Shout out to yeah. Russell, man. And um, and he's like, yo, you know, like, cause Jeremy, Jeremy went through a little Me Too situation. Oh, I heard that about him many times. Many times, right? He hit me up. He was like, he's like, you know, you show him around New York, or whatever, like that. And I was like, yeah, sure. And he's like, yeah, I just want to, you know, you know, he did have that little thing, but I vetted it out. Don't worry, I wouldn't take on a creep or that kind of shit like that. And it was fine, you know. It was this, that, the other. I started thinking about, obviously, don't get me wrong, murder, that kind of shit, that's really fucked up, right? right. There's, there's certain things that have always been fucked up. But I started thinking, right? Can you punish somebody for doing something? Can you punish somebody now for doing something that was acceptable back in the day? Like, for example, back before the speed limit was raised to 75, it was probably 55. And all those people that got a ticket for going above 55... When the speed limit gets raised, do they get their money back for the ticket? No, right? Right. Right? We understand that they were punished within the context of their time. Right. Right? Or, or a better one is like, at one point in time in history, DUIs were not illegal. Right. Right? So everybody got pulled over for drunk driving back then was just, they were just like, yo, good luck. Yeah. Or like make it home. Drive better. Yeah, drive. Yo, yo, don't be as drunk. Go straight. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Woman, y'all here driving like a lady. What the fuck is wrong with you? So, so, <laughs> so, what I'm trying to so like, and then DUIs became a thing. Now, all those people that were pulled over while they were drunk driving before DUIs were illegal. So you're saying. Do they get a ticket? What I'm saying is, if back in the day, grabbing a girl's butt at a party wasn't considered rape right yeah now we know not to do it or a better example is back in the day walking up to a girl and dancing behind her pushing your dick up against her butt and dancing behind her like all of us did at every fucking club when we were 20 years old <laughs> that's still okay yo, <laughs> <laughs> oh Puerto Rican yo, I know it came out yo he said that shit I just saw that frog <laughs> what's the name of that frog uh, from your people Kolki something like that Kolki Kolki something like oh, that oh you know Eddie. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Coquizia? See, see, I mean, I'll be knowing. Coquizia. It would be similar to cocaine. <laughs> anyway, my point is like, that was completely acceptable. Now, you could easily see a little report written where it says, he just walked up behind me, grabbed me by my hips, and pushed his penis against my butt on the dance floor. Yeah. Right? And us as 30-year-olds would be like, yeah. oh, you dance? Yeah. <laughs> Y'all were dancing? Yeah. Oh, okay. But yeah. now, that might be crazy. What I'm trying to say is, back in the day, we didn't think there was anything wrong with that. No. Now we might be more hesitant. Right. I wouldn't do that shit now, B. I would I would go like, up. I don't party like that, but that's really not okay anymore. <laughs> Fam. <laughs> Fam. Don't touch a woman, dog. No, 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 no. At a party. No, never. What Just about don't a, touch what a about woman. a Jamaican party? 
You save it. Dagger, 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 dagger. If it's a Jamaican party, then it's cool. If it's a Jamaican party, just rape the woman right there. <laughs> <laughs> you seen them dance hall videos? The fuck out of here. Dance hall videos are wild. Beating the bitches' man. asses right in front of you. Yo, that shit oh. is so funny when they just throw the bitches and shit. <laughs> yeah. You seen the one where the dude, the dude has shorty on stage? There's a full crowd of people. Yeah. Goes behind her, goes one thrust into her butt. Knocks that bitch right Yo. off the fucking stage. Yeah. Yo. Yo, those are the best video. Yo, that shit, you could get CTE <laughs> at the dance hall. All them girls, real talk, that's why Caribbean women are so fucking angry all the time because they suffer from some CTE, like some linemen. They should legitimately sell tickets to football. You know how when you watch basketball, you're like, yo, I wish I could dunk. When you're watching Jamaican dance hall videos, like, remember when? <laughs> I wish I could do that now. assault women. I wish I could do that now. <laughs> so... First of all, oh, this is why this is the best podcast, son. <laughs> so your point is, we shouldn't punish no. Louis for jerking off because he didn't know that wasn't wrong. No. He thought it was cool. No, but I will say something about the Louis thing. But my point is, it's easy to go back with today's morality, right? Yes. And say- I, And I get bothered by that in general. I don't know if it, I'm going to agree with this example. Yeah. But like, so-and-so had slaves. All right, it's not good, but like, it was a different thing back Slavery then. Slavery was legal. Slow, so and so, so and so hated black people. Yeah. So uh, every good thing he did doesn't matter. All right, it was the 1800s. Like there was a whole different set of whatever. Yo, know, we acknowledge that it's possible to think something is okay at one point in time, yep. and then think is not okay at another, even within our own lives. Yes. Like we all sitting in this room right now thought it was okay to walk up to a stranger. Grab her hips and push our penis into her butt. Alex still Pale feels face. that That's way. Right? <laughs> Wine. Throw you under the butt. Wine. <laughs> so Wine. My, my point is like, and and this is why this is the best product, because we can have these combos and it's no like social justice warrior. Dude, I'm telling you, what we've curated is so fucking lit. And it's made me think like, you know, these people, they just want everybody to like them. They're like into like, they're into like, I just want fame of everybody. Fuck that. I want con, I want to be able to create whatever I want yeah. for the people that get it. Right. And if you don't get it, be on your fucking way. Yeah, you're be good. Be on your fucking you're way. Good. I don't need you. You don't you need us. Mean? We don't need you. It's all good. These motherfuckers didn't need everybody's adulation. Who are you? Insecure motherfucker. It's no. like we didn't match on Tinder. Just keep going. Bye, it's all bitch. good. I'm going to forget. Yeah. You're going to forget. We're left. Good. To the left. <laughs> Whatever Beyonce said. Shout out to Beyonce. Hopefully she get rid of hoe before it's too late. Just. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. So, but with the Louis shit, what I will say is this. If you're a girl that doesn't know how to say no or doesn't feel comfortable saying no, yeah, you're not ready to have sex yet. You yeah. are not mentally mature enough to have sex. I agree with that. Because every sexual interaction that a man and women and women have is predicated on your yes or your no. Yeah. So if you don't have the ability to say no, you put both of us in danger. You put me in danger because I'm not fucking psychic. Yeah, I can't tell if you say yes or no. I don't know. And you put yourself in danger because now you're in this situation where you could potentially be doing something you don't want to do. Yep. And this is something that I say to protect. Girl, like I'm, I'm saying this to my daughters. If my daughter was like, I just froze in the situation. I'd be like, sweetheart, you're not ready to have sex yet. Because you don't feel comfortable voicing your 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 opinion, your and power, voicing, voice your voicing power, voicing your power. You don't feel now. There are guys that can make women feel uncomfortable. You have a fucking weapon. You're you're grabbing them. That kind of shit like that. We got to put them. You know, we got to put them in jail. That's that's right. jail shit. Yeah. But as a regular girl, and you have some weirdo asking you if you could jerk off, and you're like, I didn't know what to say. You're not mature enough yet to ha be in sexual. Interactions in my personal in my personal opinion is that fair? Yeah, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying. Like you have to be able to say no. That is on you. We to, have to give to you explain, some responsibility to sexually. make it fair to explain both sides to people. We can say men can also if you're if a, you're with a girl who feels like she's uncomfortable, just check. But also girls don't have sex before you're ready. And if you're not comfortable saying no, you might not be ready. Son, I think that's valid. Akash waited. I waited. So, so he's forever. 30 years old to learn how to say no. He couldn't say no until he's 30. <laughs> I couldn't say no until I was 30. I couldn't fucked, say no. I might have fucked a white girl. Who knows? Oh my God. <laughs> Pause the podcast. <laughs> Which how is... dare you come after my white queens? <laughs> <laughs> what would Gandhi think? <laughs> uh, mm. 
Yo, you nah. want to know some wild shit? Too? The only the only thing oh, I yeah. just want to add just to that is that. Yo, uh, shut the fuck up. Son. <laughs> <laughs> that was hard. That was hard. <laughs> I like that. It's my favorite thing to do that to somebody. <laughs> yo, you want yo real quick, real quick. I want to hear, hear a funny story. Someone told me that um, <laughs> talk, talking about me too. Someone told me that uh. uh, <laughs> uh you want to hear a funny story yeah, yeah, yeah. talking about me too? Yo, yo. This hilarious. Tracy Morgan was at, I think it was the cellar, and Aziz was there, right? Oh, and uh, wow. Tracy just goes to Aziz. He goes, he goes, Aziz! <laughs> he goes, Aziz! He goes, he goes, come over here and take a picture with me. Right? This is a horrible Tracy Morgan impression. And then uh, Aziz is like, uh, you know, I, I don't, you know, I'm trying to keep a low profile. He goes, Aziz, shut the fuck up! <laughs> come over here and take a picture with me. I've been in this business 25 years. You gonna take a picture with me? <laughs> Son, Aziz just got cucked up, went under the fucking arm. Oh, my man couldn't say no. He could not say no. He, he didn't feel comfortable say no. saying no. <laughs> Son, you're not ready to have sex yet. Oh, Aziz got picture rape, dog. He got picture rape? I would have paid $1,000 to Tracy Morgan if in the picture he stuck his fingers in Aziz's mouth and spread the shit out. <laughs> son, I give it every dollar I have. Son, I was watching the uh, Tracy Morgan, Jerry Seinfeld comedians in cars. Oh, that little preview so funny. Okay, the preview so funny. The episode sucks. <laughs> really horrible because this they, season done fell off. I heard. Well, here's the thing: the episode is great. You could tell that it was edited for Seinfeld to look good. Mm. So, because Seinfeld is just dropping bars and bars and bars, like he's just got so much great shit in it. And then Tracy's just kind of like sitting there uncomfortably asking questions. You don't really see much of Tracy. Right. Tracy's all outtakes. He's yeah. not conversation. He's yeah. just say. And then at the end, they do a little clip of just outtakes. Right. After the episode's done, and yeah. it's hilarious. He's just saying, "I like the I like the way chlamydia yeah. sounds." Yeah, no. You know, the end of it is, "Yo, you remember Kramer? You remember him?" And yeah. Then yeah. Jerry goes. Huh? And he goes, you remember Kramer from Seinfeld? Yeah. And Jerry goes, do I remember Kramer? <laughs> and Tracy goes, yeah! So, so that's <laughs> not even in the right episode. There. Of course, this is all outtakes. So it's so stupid. Like, I, the only reason I watch for that. Ava, how do you talk to Tracy? Like, So I agree, yo, but in the- in Tracy's a, wax. Say what? Tracy's, Tracy's wax. wax. <laughs> Tracy is yo. like a fam more famous version of wax. But there's one part of the episode where he goes, uh, he's looking at Tracy's house, and uh, Jerry goes, he goes, please tell me you didn't spend all the money- and then he goes, he goes, he goes, he goes, I got hit by Walmart, not Raymond and Flanagan. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. I like that. <laughs> oh, fuck. Tracy's right. such a beast. Yo, you know what I hated? I hated when they made Seinfeld start, like, diversifying who he interviewed. Remember he was just interviewing comics he thought was funny, and then people said it was, like, racist because it was mainly white people? Oh, my God. It man. bothered me so fucking much. Let this man interview who the fuck he thinks is funny. It's his show. I don't give a fuck if it's all white people. Let this dude interview who the fuck he wants to interview. I agree. Just, just making a shittier product, having him interview a bunch of people he's never heard of, doesn't find he's funny, not interested he's in. not interested in. Yeah. Let me put out the best show possible. This idea of inclusion, it really kills a meritocracy. It really kills like the best is what's going to make it. Yeah, no, I agree with you. You need some of it. Though I was thinking about this theory because I was on this conservative show, not conservative, but it's a little bit more conservative leaning uh, show my buddy Bill Schultz does. Um, Red Eye. Yeah. Well, no, it's no longer. Uh, now he does a, a radio show. It goes uh, with Bill and uh, Joanne Nosachinsky. And both of them used to be on Fox News, and now they okay. do it on, uh, oh, fuck, what is the uh, network? It's uh, uh, Anthony Cumia's network, okay. whatever like that. He does it in the morning. And um, and uh, so, and we were talking about something, and I, I know that uh, Joanne is conservative, right. right? And, you know, the general conservative philosophy is, you know, hey, you should just bring yourself up by the, your bootstraps. Yeah. You know, we're not going to help you. We're not going to enable you. Yeah. You know, we don't need to give you welfare. Right. You should just figure it out. That actually hurts you giving you welfare. Right. Right. right? So what I said to her was, um, do you expect a guy to, um, you know, try to make you come? <laughs> and she was like, yeah. And I was like, well, technically, yeah, that's welfare, Dick. Right, 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 you know right, I mean? right, right. Like, because he could come very quick. Yeah, but you're asking for extra strokes. You're yeah. asking for help. Yeah, you're asking you're, for you're, yourself up by your own yeah, clit straps. Pull your own. <laughs> Pull yourself up by your clit strap. Oh, <laughs> that's the title. Yeah, pull yourself clit strap. That's great. So there, so there is. But and I thought about and that's what my question is for all my like conservative buddies. It's like, do you try to make your wife come? 
Yeah, so you understand what it's like to be with someone. You understand that the less fortunate need a little help, <laughs> right? They do need a little help. Uh, yeah, yeah, you yeah. can't just go figure it out. Right. Now, technically, if we really wanted women to evolve into having a better orgasm, we would not help them at all. Right, we just get, we'd come as quick as we could, and eventually they'd be like, "All right, I got to figure this out. I got to figure out how to come." And maybe yeah, generations right, right. would go by, and the girls would learn how to come, etc. Yeah, it's right? That's, not really how evolution works, but yeah, go ahead. Well, n- meaning like we would only fuck the girls that okay, learn how to come enough. that quick. You know, okay, like how giraffes enough, yeah. and yeah. Become, you know, horses become giraffes or whatever <laughs> yeah. like that. Guys, I'm a scientist, <laughs> so. <laughs> but it was interesting to like see conservative philosophy like used against her. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, and then what she say. And uh, she was just kind of like sat there and like pondered it. She's a smart girl. Yeah. But she like sat there and pondered it. And I think that it's one of these things that like makes me go, okay, you should, you need to help people. Not too much to the point where they're, they, they have no will to live, but some people need some help. baseline. Some you gotta need help. Boots. Got, that's it. Some people need boots. Some people don't even have boots. Yeah. Fuck the straps. Yeah. Some people don't even have, give them the boots at least. Yeah. To give them a fucking chance. Yeah. You know, that's what my, that's what uh, Jamil said. I wonder if we kept it on the other podcast. Yeah, the basketball thing. But did we keep it on the pod? We might have cut it. I think we did. Well, if if not, he was basically like, uh, we like, you know, I was like, life should be about sports. You know, there's a basketball hoop and a ball and everybody plays and the best one wins. And he goes, yeah, but you understand like some people grow up in a neighborhood that doesn't even have a basketball hoop. And I was like, okay, there should be a borderline. Yeah. Not to get too serious, we just turned into cucks here. I apologize. Do you want to talk about sports now? On that analogy, how, how long are we in? How long are we in? <laughs> Fifty minutes. Oh yeah, let's talk some sports, bro. Well, did you watch the World Cup final, dude? Nope. <laughs> <laughs> no, <laughs> no, I did. I watched about half of it. I, I I haven't been sleeping, but I watched about half of it. Yeah, that game was exciting. I liked it. I enjoyed it. Ah, fuck France, dog. I don't know why nah, I hate I was, France. But I, was, I hate France, fam. I liked it because they were all black. Yo, so here's this thing that's popped up. It's so funny, right? It's like. France is doing well, and then everybody goes, France is really Africa's team, and let's get behind them, and the whole world is- Yeah, why does that bother me? Because you watch American sports with all black (laughs) people winning, and never once has people been like- pro-America, go America? Dude, the- the Golden State Warriors are really Africa's team. (laughs) You know what I mean? The Cleveland Cavaliers are really Africa's team. These guys are all like African. Like, they're not three generations deep in France. They're like one generation, maybe. Right. They're like, they're they're African. There's a video of them dancing to fucking African music yeah. on the plane, just dancing. Okay, like, what's the big? Okay, yeah. But it, yeah, you don't you see yourself reflected in every other sport in America, Why right. Do you not? So what what I would say is like, what made them win? Was it what made them win? Was it more the French part about them or more the African part? Clearly, know. the French, or else one of those African teams would have won. Well, that's a good point. It's a lot of running. Nah. Though. The French have money to pay for Africa's best talent. Here's what blows me away. Let Let me address. That's why NBA has the best talent. Let me address. Let me address. So what is more important, food or genetics? What's the question? I just asked it. No, but I mean- Eden, what do you, you want to step in at any point in time? That's that's such a vague question. It's not. It's like- the, they were able to win the World Cup because they grew up in France. They had access to- They didn't grow up in France. First of all, they did. One, they did grow up in France. Two, their parents were from these other places, a lot of them French colonies but uh, in Africa. But they grew up in France, and they had access to not only the amazing training, they have incredible training, yeah. but they also have access to good food, all the things that you need to grow into this being that you are, right? Wouldn't the argument be though that the French exploited all those countries and that's how they had the food. Yeah. A thousand exactly. percent, yes. But yeah. my point is, my point is, if you're going, oh, the only reason that they're good is because they're African. Oh no, that's not what I'm saying. No, I'm not saying only, you're saying that. Oh, but okay, some okay. people are like, yeah, they're African. That's why they're good. You know, they, oh, you, they just got some African guys and then they're good. Well, no, it takes African guys and a French system you know what me about it? and training and all these things. It's a combination of both. Like, I guess what I'm saying is if you're French, it felt to me like they were trying to like take the win away from France a little bit. Right. And I was like, and I was like, and, and I'm like, if you're French, if you're a French Chinese dude, if you're a French Nigerian, if you're a French, whatever, you should feel proud that your system produced this team mixed with all different players from all, all over the world in terms of ethnicity and created winners out of it. 
That that's really what it comes down. Like America yeah. takes people from all over the world, right? And we put them in this system and this opportunity to succeed, and then they fucking do it. It's amazing. That's what bothered me about it. Is I like France because they got African players, but France was super colonial and like fucked over a bunch of countries. But then fine if you like them. Cool, but then don't shit on America for being imperialistic, but like France, like they weren't imperialistic. There's this idea. Oh, yeah, yeah. There's so this- here, here's this idea. Yeah, I understand what you're trying to say. <laughs> so uh, <laughs> when the French team wins, they look at it as a version of acceptance. They, yeah. So the 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 thing the, the image that was going around was see what happens when you have an open immigration policy and you yeah. accept different cultures. Here are all these Muslims and Africans that come here to win the World Cup, and it's like, or what happens when you rape African yes. nations for hundreds yes. of years, and and then eventually you let some of them in. And that's, yeah, listen, yeah. if you don't give a fuck They're either not way, the good guy, here. just yeah, be yeah. consistent. You don't yeah. give a fuck either way. Cool, but don't shit on America yeah. and then. Are, are we colonizers and they're just open-minded they, individuals that are accepting of Europe, everybody? Yeah, yeah. This idea exists that America's so backwards yeah. and racist. They're Europe Wakanda is so forever and we're yeah. the colonizers. No, 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 Europe no. is so fucking racist. Yeah. Son, it was France. We're really progressive, actually. Son, it was comparatively, yes. I got to look, I got, in terms of like colonization, eh, we can, that, that's debatable, but yeah, when you look at like the problems that you see in the Middle East and Europe, definitely the Middle East, that's France and England. They just carved up the Middle East and Africa and America with, with yeah, but without even without even considering the tribal shit. Oh yeah, right. Yeah, yeah, so they were just like, okay, this is Nigeria, and then Nigerians were like, first of all, what is Nigeria? What are you talking about? Yeah. No, we're like we tribe. We're over here. We speak this language, yeah. and they're over there. They speak. Now we yeah. got to get along. Whoa, it's gonna yeah. be beef. Yeah, you know what I mean. It's like when Americans came over here with the Native Amer when a, a English came over here with the Native Americans, and yeah. English were like, we want to buy this land, and the Native Americans were like. Buy land. Yeah. Nobody owns land. Yeah. And, then, and, then, and like they thought they won that deal for Manhattan. Yeah. Oh yeah. Right. Like they were like they got the necklace and the beads. Yeah. And they were like these fucking idiots gave me beads for land. No yeah. one owns land. Yeah. And then they died. But it was <laughs> right. Like. Yeah. I don't know what I'm talking about. But with the win, I didn't really see <clears throat> too much hate against America because of that win. No, but I, I in general, were, people oh, are like, I love France because they got Africans, blah, blah, blah. No, but I cool, think- but that's a real, it, we're using the words imperialistic. That's how France got a bunch of African players. It's imperialism. Yeah, cool, if you don't give a why- fuck, you don't give a fuck, but you can't hate on America's imperialism and then act like France is accepting and that's that's dope. Yes, I agree with that. That's but, the inconsistency that bothered me. With the win, the reason why they were pointing out that the team was so African and also that 50% of the team is Muslim is because France right now is very like xenophobic and like they hate Muslims. Like it's that's So true. they were pointing out the Political and we think they're going to stop France. hating Muslims tomorrow. I think they'll get a couple weeks Somebody off. said something funny. Yeah, they might get a couple There's weeks a couple off. weeks yeah, off. Yeah. I think they're going to be nice for a couple Fuck, weeks. Fuck, Nimesh Patel, a uh, comedian friend of mine, yeah. I was just hanging out in the day. He's like, I think it's really funny that France is going to stop hating black people Muslims for a day, literally. Yeah, a couple and weeks. And then go right back to whatever. Well, you know what's funny? I had a couple buddies of mine that, were, uh, uh, that, I, that I have this group chat with. The uh, Abdi and Effie, and uh, Effie's a Muslim dude, Turkish guy, lives in London. But uh, he was saying, he goes, "See, we won the World Cup. That's how we run shit." You know what I mean? And I'm yeah. like, "Bro, you're a third of the world. <laughs> you know, what I mean? it's not like like one out of every three people is Muslim, right? right They're like right. two billion Muslims. <laughs> it's not like there's this one tribe that you all come from, and you're all big because you're you not share Croatia. Gene pool, exactly, right? It's yeah. like there's a good chance if anything happens, yeah, there's a few Muslims there. To it's that actually point. a thirty-three percent chance yeah. to that point on a lighter yeah. note i can't understand how america's so fucking bad at soccer i know Ale- alexis and christian try to explain but i still don't get 300 million people yeah and you can't feel the soccer team that's good oh i broke it down to my uh brother-in-law who's from england okay what'd you so, say oh they're I, married I, yeah oh when that happened a while back. Dude, what is it like knowing, like, when you're talking to that guy that, like, your sister swallows his cum? <laughs> <laughs> what a puncher right now. <laughs> don't punch what? me. Punch I me. I know, but just to say you it. Punch you, me? Put you, you, mm, you put the thought in my brain. You put the thought in my brain. As soon as he said, what is it uh, like, I was like, here we go. Yeah, I know. Whatever. But fuck. what is that like? Is that, like, shut weird up, at all? Shut up. I just want to know. What I don't want to think about that. I don't want to think. I'm not, you don't have to little think sister about it. or um, older sister. Older sister. Older sister. That's even. not that bad. Nah, but she's little like sister, she's little though, so it's like I I've taken care of. Her. Well, now he does. 
What do you mean? <laughs> oh god, I forgot what I was gonna say. I'm just saying you were, you were explaining to your you're the guy that. Oh, I think we've actually crushes your little sis during the soccer podcast. Do they we, do anal? What what is like uh, the? Yo, you gotta catch your pants, <laughs> <laughs> you didn't catch him, man. I thought he doesn't like to talk about his personal life. No. <laughs> <laughs> you fuck. <laughs> What's up, Alex? Yo, uh, y'all need you're a, so comfy. Y'all need to share, bro. You're My so brother's comfy. jumping in the fucking Hudson River. You know what I mean? Y'all won't share nothing. You act like you're sharing real details about your brother. So I am. <laughs> Alex, what's up? All right, tell no, us what's up. We spoke about it during the uh, soccer podcast in terms of our best athletes. He was to go on the to. podcast? You should get him on Horrible Decisions so we can talk about fucking your sister. <laughs> Yo, right, real, talk, real talk. Real talk. You right. think your sister's ever got chewed <laughs> out? Oh, my God. They listen, they listen to the podcast, Yo. too. What's up, sis? I am Yo. so sorry. Hey, sis. And, you, I and tell you. you met her, too. Real t- you met all, both of them. I met both of them. That's how yeah, I know. Yeah, yeah I know. They came to the show. Wait, I like them both like very much. like he could put that shit down? Son, my like man. he puts down that y'all. Yo. <laughs> <laughs> Let me tell you something. Damn, yo, when he takes the chew, his shit don't even look uncircumcised. Oh, fuck. The top is stay out. The top stay out. Stay in the light. You know what I mean? Before his dick was like Bane in prison. I don't know. I don't know. I can't be afraid of the darkness. I was raised there. Yeah, baby. And now he out here breaking backs. <laughs> like Bane out of prison. Facts. Breaking backs. Breaking backs like Batman's back. I broke. Broke. Crack, crack, crack. Anyway, what I'm, I'm trying... Right, I'm making us. this pop, worse pop, pop, for pop, myself pop. because she just announced, she just told me the other day that she's pregnant. Oh, so. wow. That's beautiful. <laughs> yeah. So he be leaving it in. That's beautiful. Yeah, I know. That motherfucker let it but marinate. But that's beautiful that nah, that yeah. semen is going to lead to a, your nephew or niece. <laughs> yeah, I am excited about that. Damn, man. So basically, our best athletes go to American sports, real sports. Yeah. Right. And women can't play real sports so that's why we have the best women's soccer team. Right, yeah. Well, we got the best women's everything because women have women have rights. Yeah. yeah they still in other countries, they just... Oh, you think that's the reason the why? Kitchen. Yeah, because yeah. if you look at any of country, oh, any country okay. the women are good at sports, they have rights. Yeah. And the countries where they're not, they just don't have rights. They can't even go to school to play fucking <laughs> college yeah. basketball. Ain't no fucking education. Oh, How are they going to okay. drive to the to the court? <laughs> can't drive, you know what I mean? How are you going to play basketball? You got to fucking... Uh, Hijab on you. I mean, it should get hot outside. Yo, you can't do a fucking between the legs. You know what I mean? There's that video of that girl in the... Yeah, but she didn't between the legs. <laughs> she, just, she just blew by that. That's she didn't embarrassing. Yeah, but well, you going to play good D on her? Yeah. Nah. Bitch, you not going to score. Yo, Drew, it's yeah, summertime. Yeah, gonna have the whole, it's what? summer. You got to play a WMB play. WNBA so they don't play. want this work. Yo, by the way... Yo, you got to play. By the way, I will say this. Chene Ugum, Ugumake, whatever yeah. her name is. Yeah. Talented journalist, B. I'm not gonna front. I'm on a flight to Summer League. I meant to say this last week. She was on the jump. There's a show, The Jump. I mean, yeah. was on there, Rachel Nichols. Mm. Yeah. And she was so whenever she wants to whatever she wants to do in 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 sports journalism, yeah. right. she will be able to do. I swear to God, she was fucking brilliant. Except, I truly except mean beat you one on one. No, well, that's not journalism. That's sports. Yeah, she can't cover that. No, no, she's not going. She could do all the covering she want, but it, it ain't going. It ain't going to work out. I told her that to her face when I saw her in summer league. But I, I was fucking blown away. And I, re- and you're gonna see, watching you see in WNBA off season. I think she's gonna get a lot more shine because I think ESPN recognize that if they don't, everybody should be fired. But come WNBA offseason, I think you're going to see her on TV a lot, and she should absolutely be. She was she doesn't fucking play anymore. phenomenal. But she how does, can she, she be better oh. than Stephen A. Smith? <laughs> <laughs> can, we, can we call this dude out? on all, Remember when he said LeBron is going to take phone calls from the Warriors and the Celtics and all this other shit in the offseason? Everybody, yeah. the whole fucking 48 hours, that's all you heard? Yeah, yeah. That motherfucker didn't call nobody. He jumped off of fucking high dive cliffs and <laughs> screamed the whole 10 feet down. Yeah. He didn't call no goddamn body. Met with magic, and that's it. That's true. Stephen A., hey, he's competing with Woj, man. He got to create a narrative. Yeah, but at least Woj reports shit. Woj, Woj just reports shit first. Nah, you're right about that. Look, all I'm trying to do right How now. How does he get the story first? Who, Woj? Yeah. You just got connections with, like, the organizations, and then for whatever reason, they like you, and they're like, okay, you can break this story. That's really what it comes down. Do we like you? And then, also, Woj will, like, write articles, right? And, like, Woj will be like, the top GMs in the league or the top presidents in the league 
And guess who always gets mentioned in those articles? The yeah. people who leak stories to him. Uh, so it's everybody scratching everybody else's back, right? Gotcha. So he's like, hey, I'm going to do some favorable shit for you. I'm going to make your organization look good, make you have job security. Or, hey, you're looking for a job, right? And you gave me a bunch of scoops. Top picks for the potential, who knows, Memphis Grizzlies job are da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da. Mm. Right? Because So it's all, uh, a lot of this shit is relationships, B. It's I like Woj, but... What a terrible job that is. Oh, I just got to report things first. Cut and just the, you just <laughs> fucking constantly. nightmare. Yeah. yeah. Look, all, right. all I'm trying to say is this. We got to talk about this chew, this blue chew. <laughs> okay. Because we've char- we've literally started a dick game revolution. We really have. I cannot even explain to you how flooded my DMs are, son, with dudes about to straight destroy their girlfriend, son. Son, crazy. I mean, like, mm-hmm. I, a dude hit me with a fucking 10-pack. I thought it only came in three, but I guess he got, like, a serious one. <laughs> oh, shit. Son, this dude was like, it's, a, it's about to be a wrap. <laughs> what I need is I need you to get your girl. I have a lot of dudes telling me how amazing that shit is. I need confessions from your girls. You get me an audio confession from your girl or an or a written one, but I would prefer audio or video. We're going to play it right here on a Flagrant 2 podcast. Mm. Ooh, that's, that's a good look. That's right? what's up. So you want the audio you out. telling you, dog, this shit is not a fucking game, all right? You out here increasing your performance. You know the biggest deal breaker for me is this. I have a girl hang out. She over at the crib. Sometimes I don't want to fuck. And I would get anxiety. Back when I had like girlfriends back in the day, like if their sex drive was more than mine, I'd feel like a cuck. Mm. I got to fuck my girl because if I'm not fucking her, she's going to think I like her and then she's going to want to fuck another dude because she's just going to want to feel that emotional security. Da, 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 da. So I, I dick down girls like at 60% hard dick. <laughs> pop, pop, popping. You're better than me. Son, you would say no. Yeah, No, nah, I tell them on the way home. Be like, yo. I'm just kind of tired tonight, so I apologize in advance. I don't want to fuck. Listen, like, I, didn't, I didn't think I, that far I disappoint through. them before the, we the get jump. home. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. No, I've I sh- never had that problem where girls want to fuck me like that. <laughs> no. <laughs> I don't know. What's that like? So, Usually they be tired on the way home. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Babe, I'm not into it tonight. You're like, phew. <laughs> me neither, bitch. <laughs> All I'm saying is, having that chew in the fucking... What is it called? The case? Not the case. The, the uh, arsenal? No, the, the window the cabinet, thing. The medicine cabinet. cabinet? Cabinet, yeah. That's the word, cabinet. <laughs> Having that chew in a cabinet, <laughs> do you know what I mean? If a girl even try to check you, if a girl even say, you don't want to fuck me? Fine. Like, I'm going to go fuck some other guy with dreads. <laughs> I'll be like, why you got to have dreads? Because <laughs> like, that's your worst nightmare. I'll be like, yeah, you're right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, Yo, you, you know how like you know how like sometimes like a girl will find a hair on your bed. Like, what if you went to your girl's house and like found a dread, <laughs> like a whole dreadlock? <laughs> you know what I mean? You be like, what the fuck was happening here? You'd be like, oh shit! Like that's you know that was mine or whatever. I don't know. So I got pissed. All right, do your thing. My point. My point is just having the fucking chew there, knowing at any point in time a goddamn kraken could be un, unre- uh, you know, released. It's just incredible. Okay, this is what the reality of the matter is. You don't have to get this shit at the fucking pharmacy. If people hit me up. Oh, do I need a prescription? Da, da, da. You do it all through the fucking website. And by the way, the one that we've been rocking with is the sildenafil. I think it is. I always just tell them the first one. Yeah, the sil- I think it's sildenafil, right? I think that's the yeah. one. And it's basically one-off usage. If you just want to have that little party night, you go into fucking Cancun with your girl, you want to crack it out, tell your girl too. Tell her she want to get involved in it as well. Gang, gang shit. That's what it is. Also, if you ever even get a threesome popping. Oh, I can't. I'm not going to lie. If you get the threesome popping, I got one nut. I'm 34. <laughs> That's all I got is one nut. I don't care. Y'all could divvy it up amongst yourselves. One of you could take it, but we're not going to do it and then go again. But now with the chew, if you're hitting the triple, if you're doing that threesome, you knock it out and then you go again. Word. It is 
I'm saying. <laughs> Word. So. Think about how that girl feels when she don't get the nut. The other one just painted. She just sitting there dry. She need that too. You need that too. So right now, special deal for our listeners. You visit bluechew.com. Get your first shipment free. Yes, you heard that right, free. When you use our special promo code flagrant, all you got to do, pay $5 shipping. That's nothing. B-L-U-E-C-H-E-W.com. Promo code flagrant to try it for free. Blue Chew, the better, cheaper, faster choice. Use that shit, y'all. And I want these to I want these testimonials from your shorties. All right. So asshole army, keep it tight, but make them loose and have them holler at me. Okay. I want it hollered at me. Bring it up and let me know. You know what I'm saying, Al? I do. I want to hear these testimonies from the from the women. Oh, because the them. dudes are just like you. They're hitting me and they're like, yo, it's about to go down. I'm about to kill her. I'm about to kill her. So, I want to find out if they're actually killing. Yo, we need it. We need to have some girls. We need to have some girls. We might have to bring a girl on and try to say and you know see the reality of the matter. Also, I just want to let y'all know about some shows that I got coming up because we keep adding more cities to the views from the sister tour. Oh god, I'm gonna be in Belmore, Long Island this weekend, Friday and Saturday. It's three shows. Okay, I think the Bro- Brokerage Comedy Club at Governors or something. You just go to theandrewshows.com. You can get tickets for any of these shows. Montreal for Just for Laughs is sold out. Seattle, Vancouver. I'm gonna be there. Okay. I'm going to be in New Brunswick, New Jersey. Then we're going to Europe. London, two shows. Amsterdam, Antwerp, Oslo, Copenhagen, Stockholm. Okay? I'm coming back. Boston. Then I got Portland. Then Sacramento. Then San Jose. Chicago. Milwaukee. Madison, Wisconsin. Tempe, Arizona. Then I'm going to do um, Thanksgiving weekend, the Friday and the Saturday. I'm going to do Albany and Syracuse. And then I'm doing Atlanta. That's right. Atlanta. Right now we got one show. If y'all buy these tickets and y'all gobble them up early, we'll add another one. That's what I told them. All right. But I need you to go get them shits now. I know already people can hit me up from Montreal. Oh man, how do we get tickets? How do we get tickets? I told y'all to get them early. All these places, please get them early, man. You guys end up waiting. I don't care if it's months in advance. You guys end up waiting and the show ends up getting sold out and there's literally nothing I can do. I want you there. I want you there more than the random person who's just like, I'm going to go out and I'm going to check out a show. I would rather you guys there. So make sure you go and get them shits right now. That shit will be, I mean, we're going to have a lot of fun on the views from the Sis Tour. Shit is getting extra flagrant. We're going to piss some people off. I can't wait to shoot. I can't wait to shoot some, you know, the next special, man. I got a really cool idea for it. And I'm very excited. I'm not going to tell y'all just now. I mean, I should because I know motherfuckers probably steal my shit. Fucking Netflix always taking my ideas. (laughs) But... Uh, maybe we'll, once we get it a little bit more, you know, ink signed and, uh, you know, deal done, then I'll share with you guys first, obviously. But um, that's what I got for the tour, so make sure y'all motherfuckers come out. Um, Akash, your favorite athlete in the whole world, Serena Williams. Oh, yeah. Akash also got some dates coming up, man. You should probably plug them shits. Yeah. Well, you want to do it a little bit? We'll do it a little bit. Okay. a little bit. Akash, your favorite female athlete in the world just lost. Who lost? Serena, Serena Williams. I thought she won. Didn't she win? Lost Wimbledon, son. Lost in the finals. She lost the final? You know what's crazy? I didn't watch any sports yesterday. The first time I ever made it without... Because I taped the World Cup. I was busy all day. Okay. And I made it for the whole fucking day without knowing. And then I watched this World Cup that everybody said was so amazing. And I was like, this shit was not that amazing to oh, me. Oh, so let's talk about World Cup. You you didn't think it was that good? I didn't think it was that good. First of all, it's too much fucking flopping. I don't like flopping in basketball. The soccer flopping is a whole nother level. Motherfuckers are on the ground writhing in pain. Yep. No one even touched them. I don't like the flopping in basketball, but at least you just you flop and then you get back up. That's done. Soccer, just, they're rolling around. Yeah, they fucking get it. up. I get it. It's a strategy, though. It's a strategy, but don't act like it's annoying. Don't yeah, act like it it's not annoying. annoying. I think it is annoying. And they have to find a way to do it. And what I think some leagues have done is they've, they've given red cards to right. people after. Like, if they look at the tape and found out that it was an obvious flop. Okay. Uh, like, they'll give them a red card after the game, I think. And then they'll be suspended for the next game. Yeah, but what are you going to do in the World Cup final? Of course, you can't do it in the World Cup yeah. final. But in other words, like, it helps in league play yeah, as well. Because yeah, yeah. league yeah. play is a big deal, too. Right. Motherfuckers right. be watching this shit. Um, is it just me or were the French flopping extra hard? I thought the fl- the French were flopping. Maybe it's just a preconceived notion I have of France. I just picture them all to be what they, say, what they say, I mean, you're right. But what they say is the, like, South American and Central American countries flop the most. Yeah, but they didn't make it, so. 
you know, was what it was. But anyway, I just, I found it, I didn't find it great. I don't understand soccer, but just as a dude watching super late at night, also I'm tired just watching so we could talk about it here. Yeah. I was like, this shit is not that great. Did you find it cool that when the people celebrated? Did you like their celebrations? You know, I did realize, I didn't care for the celebrations, but what I did realize, everybody says like football is a game of inches, but right. no game is a game of inches like soccer. Why? Like just... Like, uh, the first goal France scored, it went off the Croatian player's own head, and it was like, it was an own goal. Yeah. If that ball lands three inches further, closer to the top front of his yeah. head, it bounces the other way. There's no goal. How much is three inches? It's about three thumbs worth. <laughs> so about three of what you get put in your ass. Uh, <laughs> he beat you too. That was a lot. <laughs> he, beat, he beat you too. I was setting it up. <laughs> no. <laughs> I could, yo, how you swatted the alley, son? Because <laughs> I didn't know if that was going to score on me. Are you going to dunk on somebody else? <laughs> Damn, son. I thought, we were, I thought you did the alley for me, then you stole it and dunk it yourself, and I just look silly jumping for no reason. <laughs> what was your alley going to be for me? I was going to say, I just know how much six is. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, maybe I was going to say more or less, depending on how bad I wanted my penis to be. How much chew you took? Son, the chew? Alex, your dick's still getting big? I haven't taken it in a while, but... Really? Yeah. My man time got off? enough dick. Nah, I, but I told you. I'm trying to oh, be use gay? it on the right. You're gay now. On that special... <laughs> <laughs> no, no, you did tell me you were gay. That's right. You're right. Yeah, you're right. yeah, yeah you're you know. Right. Yeah, you know. <laughs> you're out here tearing dudes' assholes and shit. Oh, you know man. what I mean? The timing was too good. That's what it is. Look, uh, okay. Okay. Homosexuals. <laughs> soccer? <laughs> I mean, soccer players, yeah. yeah. So, uh... <laughs> Yo, soccer players probably the most handsome of all athletes. Yeah, for sure. Some yeah. handsome motherfucker. For sure. Yo, you know my one issue with them? Probably They won't up. respond feet. to your DMs? No, no, no. Their feet is fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> and they don't respond. <laughs> that shit hurts your feelings. I know. That shit <laughs> fucked up. Yeah. Okay. But in all seriousness, we can't talk about soccer much longer. Yeah. We can talk about your girl, Serena. Serena lost. So, I didn't uh, even know. I, thought, I just assumed she won. Lost in the final. Straight sets. Straights? Yeah. They so only my, play two sets, though, because they're women and they expect equal pay. Well, she lost <laughs> both of them. Well, my, that was my buddy's point. My buddy was like... Um, not only about that equal pay, but she was like, there's there's the proof that the um, wage gap is uh, a myth. I go, what do you mean? He goes, it's not a wage gap. It's a birth gap. The second women uh, have kids, they don't care <laughs> about their job because they just care about the kids. She just wanted to get back to breastfeeding. She didn't want to be out there fucking, oh, do you know what I mean? Like, she oh, wanted to be man. back hanging out with her kids. She's there hitting a man. tennis ball with some other bitch, and she's about to win a tournament that she's won. Many times, I assume, right, in the past. Right, right. What What is more important to her in that moment? Right. Winning this tournament that she's already won, her legacy is already cemented at the best ever, or breastfeeding her newborn baby or just watching her newborn baby walk around. Right now, some nurse is looking at the baby, and the baby's looking at the nurse, and the baby's making this deep connection with the nurse, and the baby's thinking that the nurse is the mom, and she probably looked into the stands and saw the baby looking at the nurse and giggling. The baby probably said something like- the baby already half white, so she don't really look like Serena. Oh my God, this is- <laughs> True, true. They probably got some mixed nurse, she probably got Filipino a Jamaican looking nurse. bitch. Look, yo. And then she looked at the stands. The nurse probably started trying to t- suck some titties, <laughs> milk from the nurse. The nurse probably brought out her titties, and the baby was sucking on her titties. Son. <laughs> It's like your brain is too fast for your mouth. It's like, nurse, titties. I don't know. There's a sentence there. There's a sentence there. I'll, I just get, there, dog. I'll get there. All I'm trying to say is like, I completely get any mom that wants to be with her kid more than she wants to be at work. And we forget that this is work for her. Yeah. So let her be with her kid. I'm saying. It's not Serena, though. I don't do Serena like that. How, Listen, how I, I just hate anything? this idea. Everybody, when I say Federer is the best ever, some dude who's usually black or super fucking liberal is like, what about Serena? And it's just, she's great. She's the best woman ever. She's not better than Federer. Like, not even, I understand men are better than women, but she's just not the greatest like that. Mm. She's just not. She got no real competition in terms of other great players in her era except her sister. That's it. She's just not. But isn't that the same knock Floyd has? What you mean? You, now you're talking about my guy. So. That's why. Here's, here's what, so here's what I would say the difference is. Serena was away for nine months, right? Having a baby and then recovering, whatever. Uh, I'll assume nine months. I don't know. But I didn't hear about a single woman dominating while she was gone. I didn't hear any woman pop up like, this lady is kicking ass. Now that Serena's finally gone, 
This lady's kicking the shit out of everybody. Ooh. I didn't hear anyone. I'm I don't saying, know any other women. And when Serena, Jordan went down, Olajuwon was taking motherfuckers' heads off. Yep. Second he came That's back, LeBron left the East. Boston's going to finally get there. So wow. who's, been, who's been dominating since? Huh? M- Mayweather's been out. I haven't heard of. Well, I mean, I think there's a few guys. No, but like, I mean, making. Triple G. But making a name, like Triple a G. wave, like Mayweather. Triple G. I don't think so. I mean, he's been he's been doing well. Triple G can't even speak English. Like h- half of boxing is marketing, right? Is half of boxing is like looking at the part. Also, they like fight twice a year. Tennis players have tournaments every week. Time. It's actually a problem. They have no off season. They don't have one. So there's tournaments every week. There's only been I think one Grand Slam since she was pregnant. But uh, there was nobody. I didn't hear about anybody dominating the tennis world while Serena was gone. Look out, Serena! Here comes this girl. Yeah, I yeah. had nobody. Not to say she's not you know, great. She, I told you she's the Jordan of women. She's the fucking one of the greatest winners I've ever no, seen. No, any no, no, gender. no. I, I, but, I get it. I just it it sucks when people try to say like, oh, well, they're not as good because the competition wasn't as good. I just think they're I also, just that. Federer's much competition well, again. She wasn't that much better, right? Because Steffi Graf only got one less major. Yeah, Steffi Graf is now. Steffi Graf also capitalized on um, the second best player, her era, getting stabbed on the fucking court. Oh, Which is crazy. Shit. Monica Sells got stabbed in the back by some crazy Steffi Graf fan. Yo, where were those ball boys that supposed to run mad quick? <laughs> right? Isn't that their one job? Run mad quick so no one sees you? You couldn't run mad quick and stop, dude? You got three balls in your hand. Throw a ball at them or something. These kids are 16. Yo, those, they ain't doing nothing. Those they ball up boys nothing. gotta go. Come on. So you never that seen is, them ball boys? Yeah. yeah they're Yo, they're fast. so fast. They are fast. Son, they, they could get across the border. <laughs> they be across the border in no time. Like, eat his family, son. Them motherfuckers was running. <laughs> What if before every so match they just stop by Home Depot? That's like, it. Hey, guys, we need some ball boys. Yo, them balls wouldn't even touch the fucking earth. So the second they hit the net, there'd be Eden's uncle down there fucking running real quick, scooping that shit up. I got it. I got it. I got it. I got it. Okay, next surf. 40 loaf. 40 loaf. Oh, you guys seen um, I, Tanya? What? Nah. I, Tanya. No. That's an app? That's the... <laughs> What's that, son? What's an I, Tanya? That is the name, right? Is it right yeah, name? yeah, it's yeah, a Tanya yeah. Harding movie with uh, Margot Robbie. Why is it called I, Tanya? Like the know. phone shit? I don't know. I, comma, Tanya. Like I, robot. Yeah. Tanya Harding's a robot? <laughs> Y'all are crazy. Yo. What kind of fucking sci-fi shit is this? No, so that is, I was young for that story, but my that girl shit is actually said, crazy. My girl actually said the illest shit. She said that's the last time a white woman looked bad. They made a white woman look bad in public was Tanya Harding. That's the only white woman v- villain we've had. In, what are you talking in, about? What about this bitch who got ye- yelled, uh, who she would call the cops on a uh, black chick selling water? Oh, oh, I'm yeah. talking about this. Pat, 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 yeah, she, she's petition ugly. Patty. Ugly supersedes yeah, race. Ugly, people, ugly supersedes yeah. race. So this is the last time a beautiful white woman. Yeah, like, nah, she wasn't beautiful, but she wasn't ugly. You would like, crack? I wouldn't crack. You would crack, Alex? I mean, she's white. So, so yes? <laughs> Yo, Alex love his white queens, bro. He love his nah, white queens, I love bro. Black. That was a joke. Nah, it was no <laughs> joke. It was no joke. Alex out here critty, My man critty, rubbed critty. his stomach. He couldn't even live with a lie. Yo, he had to he rub it so off excited, of him. He excited, bro. He just put some chew on the tip of his dick. He just rubbed that shit straight on. He didn't even put it in his mouth. You put. I heard Alex takes the chew by putting it in his urethra. Is your brother-in-law white? Yeah. Oh, shit. Yeah. Oh, shit. What? Your sister loves white dudes, huh? She does. So y'all got something in common, bro. Yeah. <laughs> Who's seen more white genitalia? <laughs> yeah. Um, who, do think, who do you think likes? Who do you think drank more white cum? <laughs> All right, that's it. See me outside, Drew. <laughs> what yo, is this offensive? Nah, see me I don't outside. get it. Hey, guess nah, what? See me my mom is probably drinking my dad's cum. All right, you can say that. <laughs> Why see are me people outside? so crazy? I don't, get it. I don't get it. I hope my parents have a great sex life. I really do. Yeah. You know your dad using that popcorn. Pop, 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 Oh, man. Yo, man, he probably doing some wild shit though. He's white, <laughs> white dudes. That's a kinky Yo, especially dude. English dudes, bro. He's English. They probably got swords and shit. He's English. Uh, oh Jesus. fuck, that's some colonial oh, shit me, he doing. I switch it to some. Gay think shit. about their role play. So when... Yo, real talk. No, think about their role play. Say, <laughs> oh god. All right, you, you're the dragon, and I'm the slayer. <laughs> You, you walk around spitting 
the fire and I will slay the dragon. Take a look at my oh. Monty Python. All right. <laughs> All right. Yo, sis, I'm so sorry. I'm oh, so sorry. Yeah. I'm King Arthur. Yeah. Oh, man. And this is my Excalibur. Uh. Why don't you try to take the stone out the rock? <laughs> what? So, I'm going to put yeah. the sword in the stone. There we go. There we go. Oh. It makes it. Take the stone out the rock. <laughs> She's like, it's too far in. It's too far in. Uh. I'll show you a Brexit. That's it. <laughs> Okay, that was funny. Uh, 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 Not British exit, it's black exit. That's what will happen right now. <laughs> All right, let uh, me get this tea ready. Oh, sis, I'm sorry. Oh, my God. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> you ready for some English breakfast? Let me spread some jam on your English muffin. <laughs> well, it would be a black biscuit, but I mean... <laughs> There's nothing I like more than some pumpernickel bread. <laughs> Let me put a little cream on my pumpernickel. Oh, my God. Mm. Oh, man. God, the English, bro. Yo, the <laughs> fucking English, dog. Shout English, out to my bro. bro and sis, man. That's some, I love that's you guys. Some shit. I, yo... England, man. England, bro. They out there, bro. They out there in the world, bro. Yeah, he's a a good white dude, man. English. Yo, he's a nice dude. No, he's, he's a really cool it. guy. Yeah. Yeah, and your sister's cool. cool. He already man. got everything yeah. he wanted. That's true, bro. Yeah. 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 Uh, yo, shout out to your sis. What's your sis' name? No. <laughs> <laughs> you know you too well. You know you too no. well. <laughs> no. That's crazy, bro. That's crazy. <laughs> yeah, he knows you too well. You shouldn't have taken him on the road son. so much. Yo, you think he's a knight? <laughs> Thank you. Yo, that'd be sick. Of, Yo, some that of them, would be fucking. Some of them are knights. If he was, that would be dope. Did you know that? Yeah. Yo, it's still even to today. Yeah. I do. Yeah, I'm aware. But... Elton John is a knight. Nah. <laughs> do you want Elton John defending you? <laughs> Think how the knighthood has fallen. Yo, Ellen John's like, the British are coming. The British. We here. Oh, no, he's English, right? How you sound gay in English? Yes, queen. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Kuwait. <laughs> All right. We're here. <laughs> We oh, try, like dick. We try to suck some dick. <laughs> <laughs> all right. All right. Who wants to pull back some of that foreskin? Damn. Yeah. Yeah, we got about like 15 minutes of sports. <laughs> just son, the we're the best just... sports podcast on the planet. <laughs> Absolutely. Son. There's no sports worth talking about. That we talked about season, Serena. It's season, bro. You have to understand this is a flagrancy podcast, right? If anybody wants to talk about Novak Djokovic, holler at me on Twitter. <laughs> That's it. I don't know if else gives a fuck, right? The 10 people that want to talk about that, we can talk about it. Everybody else is much more interested in hearing about your sister getting fucked by a white dude. <laughs> Hold on. What's Novak Djokovic? Yeah, I know. That's, That's, what... That's the <laughs> guy who won the men's Wimbledon. He's the, he's probably like the third or fourth oh, best he's, tennis he's player nice, ever. Right? Yeah, yeah. Federer is the illest man. Hold the, on, he plays the second best player ever, and then the probably top five player ever is also on the men's side right is now. Nadal, Novak is Djokovic? Nadal still good? Nadal still good. Oh, I know still. Nadal. I met yeah. him. Oh yeah, when I was in Spain. Or yeah, I was like, what's up? After you cracked him, right? <laughs> nah, I didn't crack him. <laughs> he wishes Sorry. he cracked that right. His left arm is like twice the size of his right arm. <laughs> he looked like the Winter Soldier. <laughs> That's weird. You know the Winter Soldier in Avengers. Yeah, 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 but don't they have to switch up with they, the tennis racket? Yeah, they switch no. from both sides. No. Son, what? You, only you switch from both sides. <laughs> <laughs> son, they don't go switch from both sides. Son, that's why there's a backhand. A backhand. Oh, you're right. He's double. lefty though, but he's, he's a double handed backhand. What's this guy thinking about? You're right. Son, I know when Puerto Ricans play handball, you, you'll hit the handballs with your left and your right hand. This we is do. different. This is tennis. We're nice. Nah, y'all are nice. We are nice. Does your mom care that you're uh, sisters with a white dude? Nah, she likes it. She's always been like very open. I brought home the United Nations and it was fine. Oh, you brought home some white chicks? Uh, I, all type. Indian too. I know. Oh, <laughs> shit. I helped Alex get in. Oh, <laughs> shit. My 
motherfucking chaiwala out here. Let's go. Motherfucking chai. She's cute, too. I met her. What was her name? Shh. <laughs> Talk about your personal life, Alex. Y'all are really soft compared to me. I'm telling you about DM's girl pussy look like doo doo. Yeah, but you don't know that girl. Yeah. That's true. Yeah. Okay. That's a good point. <laughs> you did make a good point right there. I mean, doing that sometimes. Yeah, who you who you dating now? Me? Yeah. <laughs> who you dating now? I'm like a oh, dragon. Oh, I want okay. to be a dragon. Oh, okay. Okay. I'm a dragon okay. slayer. All right. Well, I'm a dragon slayer. What happened to keep that same energy, I'm right? I'm a dragon slayer. Yeah. Yo, yeah. Keep that same no, energy. I'm not dating nobody. I'm not oh, dating really? Yeah, really? For real, for real, for real. Oh, nobody? No, nah, for Damn, real. Damn, Alex knows something. Yep. Yeah, nobody. How come I don't know? That shit hurts my feelings a little. Yo, because you don't, you don't ever text me. <laughs> <laughs> Alex be texting me. And Alex asks, what's up? You know what I mean? He knows about my life. <laughs> oh, fuck. But you, you too busy. I, yo, I text this motherfucker. It takes him two hours to respond to me now. It used to be back in the day. Yeah. We just talk all day. But when he wants something, though. Oh, when he wants something, it's quick. <laughs> right? Where, where the ad revenue at? Then it's real quick response. <sighs> mm. All I'm trying so to say nothing is... nothing happened in sports, though? Like, nothing else? LeBron had some... Anything? Hold on. LeBron no, had Lakers. All, oh, yeah, yeah, LeBron went to the summer league game Yo, but, in Lakers you know shorts. Annoying? That shit had bothered me. I'm not going to lie. Them shorts is fire. Yeah, he kind of swagged it out. Them they were dope, but that shit bothered <laughs> me. Them shorts fire. Son. It's like you dated a new bitch and you just put pictures all over Instagram of her. Just relax. I mean, yeah, that's, I mean, that's you what you're supposed other, to do. You hurt this other bitch feelings. Let her be in her feelings for a bit before you start posting pictures. I'm with you on that. I will say this about LeBron going there like... This is how you could tell. You the, could tell Ty Lue eating himself in a, a depression. Oh, yeah, that motherfucker looked Put on weight. Oh, fam. my God, really? son. Man, oh, eating his seen. feelings, dog. Oh, dude, yeah, his face. Yo, I swear, Iverson wouldn't even be able to step over him. <laughs> <laughs> That's how thick he is. Iverson need to take a little leap. <laughs> shit was he'd take big. a running start. Yeah, he'd be like, I don't know, man. Let me walk around. <laughs> Bad D. Anyway, this is something I've noticed, and this is how you could tell there's absolutely nothing happening in the news right now. Sports news. Everything LeBron does is a story. LeBron shows up to the game, and this is what we're not going to do on Flagrant 2 for you guys. We're not going to make a mountain out of a molehill for bullshit. LeBron shows up to the game. Big news story. LeBron hugs Brandon Ingram. Big news story. LeBron says hi to Josh Hart. Big news story. ASPN is dedicated 45 minutes to LeBron just being at a fucking summer league game. Who gives a fuck? Okay? It has no significance whatsoever. I'm not going to sit here and make uh, fake importance out of nonsense, okay? I'd much rather talk about your family <laughs> and how they fuck. <laughs> what do you think? I, I Yo, go there. Call your sister, son. Go. Call your sister. Call your sister. <laughs> you know what? This will be funny. This <laughs> Why, will, you calling this your sister? sister? This will be funny. Oh, call your sister. Oh, this is going to be great. You want to call sister. from there? Because oh, I'll call you. Yeah, speak. you call. You call some because I'm going to look. Oh, uh, but don't look at a name and don't say a late name. I would never do that, son, if you don't want me to. All right. This one. We tried to call Kaz, but Kaz ain't pick up. Kaz, Kaz is too big for us right now. Hanging out with Triple H. Why isn't that ring? Because you didn't pay your bill. <laughs> Why you got Sprint? Why is a picture of your sister on your phone in a tube top? I don't so, know. That's whatever. She in a bra. You got no, a picture of your sister a... in a bra on your phone. Really? So let me see. You, that's what you're going to do? Fam. That's Look, what you're going to do. in a bra. Yo, it's whatever picture that populates. Oh, it's ringing now. It's whatever picture that populates. She looks like there. you, fam. <laughs> Yo. Nah, we don't look nothing alike. Y'all look alike. Nah. I look like my mom. She looks like my dad. Hold on. Why nobody wants to answer us, yo? We the hottest podcast on the planet. <laughs> the fuck, man? This is bullshit, bro. I like really it better than nobody answers our calls. Hi. Yes. Hello. Yeah, what's up? This is Andrew Schultz. Oh, hey, Andrew. How you doing? I'm, don't say your name. Uh, just because okay. we're recording live on the podcast right now. And... Don't say your name. We're recording live on the podcast right now. We're trying to protect your identity. Hi, Every, Alex's sister. This everybody, is Akash. Everybody knows it's Alex's sister we're talking to, but we were we were talking about you and your husband having sex on the podcast, and Alex got very protective of you, and he said, he said, call her. He said, call her. 
Well, be, well, be, well, there's not a lot of sports going on, and we thought it was kind of interesting <laughs> that you and your your husband's sex life, especially because he's, he's so into dragons. <laughs> <laughs> It like, I have even speaking about it. Okay. Is he here? Oh, okay. Listen. So, how right were we? How right are we about this? Is it true that you guys will do role play with like dragons, insects? <laughs> <laughs> what? You're not answering. You're just laughing. Absolutely not. You don't use any dragons at all or nothing. That's not an English thing. <laughs> I don't know where you're getting this information from, but... That's what Alex would tell me all the time. He'd be like, Alex would say he would hear you guys fucking, and then your husband (laughs) husband would be like, oh, it's time to ride a dragon. (laughs) 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 So, Alex, he has no idea what he's talking about. Chris. Yeah, you said it. Yo, Alex... (laughs) Alex is wild, and he was like, he he was like, it got him very comfortable with you know sexuality in general, like hearing you guys fuck all the time and shit. Yo, don't believe any of that shit. <laughs> Alex said. Alex he, said you're the one that got him into dating white people. <laughs> <laughs> he did say that. Alex was like. Alex was like, I only, I only like my my dark skinned sisters. And then my sister pulled me aside once, and she was like, <laughs> she was like, yo, if you like that, you gotta try this shit. Like, it's gonna be crazy. <laughs> that's what, that's that's what she that's what Alex said. Alex had an obsession with Justin Timberlake, but no. Wait, you were obsessed Timberlake? with Justin Timberlake? Yeah. Yeah, I always had a fit with Justin. Timberlake. That's where it started. So you're like, why get a white dude who wants to be black when I could just get the whitest dude (laughs) and you found somebody from England? (laughs) Pretty much. Pretty much. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. But, um, did I inspire Alex to just go down the the white side? I don't think so. You don't think so? Alex out here fucking white bitches like he's Putin. (laughs) 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 This dude is a wild boy. He said he wouldn't be into snow bunnies if his sister didn't have a polar bear. (laughs) (laughs) No, Alex. And he said he calls him polar bear because the way he growls while y'all are having sex. Yeah, he just roars. He did say that. He did say there's very like animalistic sex between (laughs) you and your husband. Like it was a lot of weird animal sounds. You know what I mean? You know, he just, yo, oh, it was so wild. And he said, he just said, he said, like, there's purring going on. Like, <laughs> like, 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 you know, the cat, not when the cat goes meow, but like, no, he's not turning. Well, we wouldn't know. But, like, <laughs> but he said, he said that, like, that, like, at one point, sometimes y'all just be like, <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, we get it in. That's what we should say. Okay, yeah, sure. Yep. You get it in. Wild. It was weird to say English, to hear English dude say, we get it in. Yeah, you know how y'all do. Yeah. You know what I mean? (laughs) Anyway, y'all, we just wanted to call and make Alex uncomfortable, so thank you guys for letting us achieve that. Absolutely. All right. I'm sorry, sis. Bye. All right, all right. I don't know how to give you that. Hold on. All right. Oh, Oh, damn. Damn, I'm fucking with the hands, bro. You know it. Damn. <laughs> Alex caught the shit out of that. One hand casual. Damn, son. All right. Uh, Akash, why don't you tell them about some dates where they can find your ass because I got to go play a basketball game pretty soon. All right, all right, all right. Uh, the American-born Desi Comics are going to be uh, in Nashville at Zany's on Thursday, September. Let me get the date. 27th, I believe. Let me double check. Yep, 27th. We're going to be in Huntsville on Friday, September 28th, and Saturday, September 29th. We're going to the Red Clay Comedy Festival in Atlanta on September 30th, and we're still trying to lock it down. We're also going to be in North Carolina, either Charlotte or Raleigh, and we're going to be in D.C. at the Improv, hammering down those dates right now. Damn, son. I'm sending my sorry text to her right now. Damn, son. How do you say sorry? 
We need to get Akos. Tell that motherfucker to get Puerto Rico energy. We need, <laughs> <laughs> we need to get, Oh, he's been getting Puerto Rico energy. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He's been putting the lights out in Puerto there Rico. Go, there we go, son. <laughs> motherfucker. Anyway, oh, um, yeah, yo, come on, yo. Come out to those shows, man. And Akash needs to hit that that road on his own, bro. I keep telling him he need to get out there, do some headlining on on uh, on his own, man. Flagrant. Yeah, these clubs don't believe I got a following. Yo, if you're in Houston, I know we got a crowd in Houston. A lot of people came out to show Andrew Love. Hit up, uh, what's the name of the club again? The Secret Group in yeah. Houston. Just yeah. find them. Hit them up. Say, bring me down. Let them know I got fans out here. We're going to get we're gonna get Akash on the road, man. And um, Army's going to show Let's do up, that one city up. at a time. Let's start with Houston. Show up, show up, love, show support. We're gonna, I'm going I'm to I'm make some phone calls, man. I think we can work that out very easily. Um, Wait, your girl listens to this? Not really. Okay. If you want to hear Akash shit all over his girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. I was almost no. about to wrap up the podcast. What are you talking no. about? I got no, no, your stand up. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, you yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so why do you rock- feel comfortable, uncomfortable doing a podcast? I know. I don't get it. Because I feel like the stand-up, I give a three-dimensional. I say, like, I'm crazy. Here's how crazy I am. All right, so and say then that. I say, and then shit on your girl right here. You crazy. Now let's go. Yeah, but it's more curated in the stand-up. I work on it. You know what I'm I mean? Sorry, I'm sorry. Did you just say you're you gay? <laughs> <laughs> what was that? I should have said it first. I knew it was coming. I should have said it first. No, but I do. That's what it sounded like. Yeah. No, <laughs> also I'm gay. Yo, this guy said to me, he was he's bigging me up in a DM. Then he goes, he goes, he goes, uh, medium homo. <laughs> I thought that was good. <laughs> that was a good amount. Anyway, <laughs> a good um, amount. <laughs> a good amount. Yo, man, I'm exhausted. I think um I think I gotta go play a basketball game. I gotta play in my my non bum league. Alex, oh, we needed you in the bum league, son. I almost quit the league, bro. Really? Yeah, man. We were playing a team, the good team. We we're playing. They were whooping our ass, and son, it was like, this is how you know. I don't give a fuck. I, I probably put up twenty five. I didn't give a fuck. I don't care about putting up points and losses. Yeah, I'd rather put up eight and we win. It means nothing to me. But like, and I literally, I stopped and I was like, fellas. If we don't either drop a division or add some other players, I can't play in the league next year. Because I'm 34. I don't want to fucking, I don't care about patent stats. I just want wins. I mm. like the euphoria of a win. When Alex came, my brother played, and we have another dude named Miles came, and we won a good game. But yeah. it was a competitive game. It was, yeah. It was good, though. Son, we don't have you three. We're just getting washed. <laughs> and the team we played was better than the team we beat. Ooh, ouch. Son. That must have been a bad one. Son, it was fucking... I can't do it. So this is the league I'm going to play in right now. This is not the bum league. They're yeah. good. I love it. Anyway, I that's might, just I me. I might go and watch because I don't got shit. I said I might go and watch. I oh, pull up, son. To, yeah, I don't got shit to do. All I'm right. gonna edit this. All right, son. So, uh, yo, uh, we out of here. I want y'all to go cop that blue chew and then go to Adam and Eve. Get your dick hard and get it wrapped up. And go get tons of shit. Alex had a great idea. Also, we're all gonna get something from Adam and Eve. Oh, and try that shit. Yeah. All right, I call butt plug. <laughs> <laughs> no, but only me, yo. Y'all can't get the butt plug, son. It's got to be just me, bro. Oh. <laughs> son, this girl, this girl, who was it? Oh, Wheezy. Yeah. From Horrible Decisions gave me a butt plug, right? And some ropes. First of all, having ropes in the apartment is weird. I just had the rope. Yo, you got to get rid of that. A shorty came over. She's like, what's that? And I was like, oh, that's some rope. <laughs> Yo, there's no and way. She's like, why you got rope? Guess there's a like, fire. I'm on the eighth floor. Yeah, I was like, oh, yeah, oh, was, my friend gave it to me, which sounds even yeah. weirder, right? Like, my friend gave me the rope. Why you got duct tape rope and a, and a, a knife? Uh, my friend gave it to me. It just sounds suspicious. <laughs> so I got rope hidden in my apartment for somebody to fucking find. That's creepy as shit. <laughs> I don't know what's more creepy: hidden rope that you find, or just rope out in the. <laughs> Yo, it's all bad. You got to get rid of that. Anyway, she gave me a butt plug too. I don't know where that shit at. Oh, but, I think uh, I know. I, yeah. I know. <laughs> <laughs> no wonder he hasn't left to go to the bathroom. Oh. <laughs> I think I know. And then imagine next time, <laughs> AdamandEve.com. Get your butt plug. No, nah, but um, but yeah. So she was like, she was like, yeah, this butt plug is good because you can leave this in and walk around. And I was like, yo, who the fuck is walking around with a butt plug in, yo? Uh, That's yeah. crazy. Some. Isn't that crazy? Yo, that podcast. Say wild uh, girls. Yo. Check some. out horrible decisions. Word. Yo, so um, all I gotta say is this. We love you. Y'all the fucking best. And I mean that not in like that like patronizing way that some people say. I truly, every time I see like this cancel culture or takedown culture it exists out there in the world and I see the flagrant shit that we get to get away with on You're this right, fucking bro. podcast. We get away with murder. We do. And you know what? We should because it's in jest and that's the point. And it's fun. We And it's fun. But we have literally found a way to 
weed out all the social justice warriors, all these fucking ugly bitches with the short bangs and pink hair. That's the one haircut which you, where you know a bitch ready to get offended. Oh, yeah. When the bitch, <laughs> when the bitch got her basically her baby hairs. She got bangs. Buzz cut hair. Carly Aquilino. Buzz cut, you know what I mean? Shouts to Carly. But not, Carly's not like that, but nah, you know what you're yeah, talking that about. that hair. Purple ass fucking you know, hair. Carly's. Yes, yes, yes. Attractive woman. I ain't attractive like, woman. Better in person. Attractive woman. Relax. Alex, Jesus <laughs> Christ. Saying. I know you love your white bitches. <laughs> She First, white. That bitch white. Exactly. You love your white bitch. I mean, she got a new podcast. You also check that out. So what I'm oh, saying is, what I'm saying is, oh, is we've curated this safe space, fucking safe safe space for flagrancy. Yeah. But we've we've curated this place where we cannot give a fuck. And I'm telling you, it's the best thing that I've done in my career. I mean, stand up is like that as well. Yeah. Because like. And when I do shows where motherfuckers, you know, don't necessarily know me, there's always a little thing. I mean, you guys have come out and seen my shows live. I'm good to walk two to four people a show. That's possible. But this right here, and I feel like even the people that the listeners recommend it to, they recommend it to their people who are like, yo, y'all would fuck. I see it on Instagram. They're like, yo, you would fuck with these guys. And it's specific. It's not like anybody listen. It goes, yo, you would fuck with these dudes. That's my favorite shit. So we're going to keep growing this and keep on having this insulated army because beautiful fucking things can happen, man. And um, I'm excited, man. I saw the Legion of Skanks um, and Gas Digital had a festival called Skank Fest Skank this Fest, week. right, right, right. And I went out there and I did one of the shows. I was supposed to do another and I fucked up on the next day. But it was beautiful to see what they did, man. They had like three different stages going, four different stages going. Hundreds of people showed up. Like it was incredible what they did, you know, and... I would love for us eventually to get a flagrant fest, you know, where we got shows, Hell stand yeah. up, live podcast, three on three tournament. Just take a weekend Hell somewhere yeah. and do that shit. But I was so inspired by those guys. Shout out to Big J Ogerson, shout out to Gomez. Louis Gomez, Dave Smith, um, Christine, uh, everybody involved in that crew. They did such a fucking incredible job, man. They, I mean, I was so blown away by what they did. Um, they just fucking killed it. But anyway, uh, so yeah, we can we can do that shit. We can curate this kind of shit. So if you know people who you think would fuck with our specific genre of podcast, let them know. You don't got to tell everybody. We don't want y'all to tell everybody. We want y'all to Hell tell no. the motherfuckers that would be down for what we fuck with. But get them on it. Oh, absolutely. And they're going to get on it. That's- you're going to you're going to you're going to throw the lob and they're going to dunk it easy. We take care of the rest. But I'm telling you, man, it's a very special thing that we've especially in this sensitive ass culture, what we've created right here. Few and far between, y'all. Few and fucking far between, man. So thank y'all so much. This has been Flavor 2. No easy buckets. Analysis by assholes. Water cooler commentary for your sports needs. God bless.